Hey everyone, how you doing? I'm doing an unranked to diamond series. Actually, technically it's silver to diamond, but you know, we're just gonna call it unranked. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I managed to get myself out of silver and why it's not impossible to do. In fact, I have a feeling that I'm not going to lose any games, at least up until platinum, outside of some freak accident. So you know what? That's your encouragement to watch me and see if I actually lose any games. <laughs> I'm going to lose a lot of games, aren't I, guys? No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I won't lose any. So we're going to be playing some Mass GE to make this happen. But I'm also thinking about doing another unranked to Diamond series playing not Master Yi. Now, obviously, if I don't play Master Yi, I will probably lose those games. But I believe in my ability here to, uh, to climb out of the depths. To climb out of the depths. So here we are, my friends. Um, I will keep the score in the top left-hand corner for you guys. Hopefully, I remember every game. And you'll be able to see how, basically... To get out of silver. I'm literally showing you step by step, guys, how to get out of silver. All right. So if you're stuck in silver, this is it. And if you're not stuck in silver and you just want some entertainment, this is it. Because we're going to see some mega fiestas. But I think, um, basically, I, dude, honestly, I think I'll be in gold by the end of the stream today. And then, uh, in my next video, I'll probably be like high gold. I don't know. I, I think it'll take me less than a week to hit diamond. But we'll see. We'll see where we go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start it off here, my friends. So first blood goes to my team. Well done, guys. Looking like we might have a solid start after all. I'm just doing a full clear. I'm not even looking at lanes. You'll notice I'm not even looking at lanes because, like, I'm not in a rush to gank anything. Why be in a rush, right? Like, but it's all about that long play here, guys. Like, if they overextend, I'll go for it. I kind of thought about going for Mordekaiser, but... Mm. I also got filled as top this game, but my Teemo graciously swapped, and I told him I would carry him in exchange. So, you know, I better not let down my promise. Mm. I'd like to... I would really like to make a play here, but there's not really anything for me. But I have no camps, right? That's literally all we're doing is we're just looking for camps. But I ain't got nothing. Uh, the top laner is probably top. I, I mean, it doesn't do much good to ping it for uh, silver players because they don't really care, right? We got Zach over here. Also, on top of that, in lower elo, you don't really know where the jungler is even going to be. Right? You could, you could, like, ping top, but what if he goes mid like he just did there? You, you never know. You never know. I mean, Teemo's doing work. He already got the kill. Look at that. I had to swap us up. His CS is a little bit behind on Mordekaiser. Yeah, I didn't see if Zach went that way or not, but... If I was Zach, I'd probably gank bottom, so. He's still rolling him out in mid. What's his CS? He has 28 CS. Zach's actually doing a really good job of uh, full farming here. But you'll see that I'll slowly get ahead of Zach. Because outside of the first clear, he isn't going to know what to do, right? Like he's already kind of sitting in mid and holding it. Which is fine. But he has no items purchased yet. And he did take the crab. 28 CS means he took crab. Hey, you know, this actually kind of isn't fair, man. He's getting all that mid lane farm. You know what I mean? But yeah, we're just playing it slow. There's nothing to give right here. No need to snowball us early. I think the biggest key when you're, like, climbing a game like this is to, like, not fall behind. You don't necessarily have to get ahead. You just don't fall behind. You fall behind, dude. I tell you, you put me in a 20-minute silver game where I fell behind, I'm going to lose. But you put me in a game where I'm there from the beginning, I'll be good. Zach spot. So Zach's finally backing, and he has more CS than me because he's a Giga Chad, and I was wrong. I don't know, dude. I've never seen, I've never seen a silver Zach farm like that. I haven't been. I actually, I have not smurfed like this in a long time. So I actually don't know how good silver players actually are nowadays. So. Who knows? Maybe, maybe like silver players actually can deal with me now. I doubt it, but you never know. All right, let's see them. I'm gonna meditate. I don't think we could do this. Oh, okay. Zach's gonna make it happen for some reason. I mean, it's a free double for me. There's one. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. Now we got Noon Quiver. Was not a free double, but, you know, I did get something out of it. 
I can go ahead and do my clear. So we're four CS ahead of Zach. He still has a back though, which made me stronger in that fight. All right, we're good. Woo! Outplayed. Well, I didn't waste flash, and they wasted some flashes. That's kind of important to me. Nico went for top. I'll trade. I'll trade for uh, kills any day. That's how I roll. I do admit that these players are playing way more passive than I expected. Right? Which is already better than I kind of expected coming into this game. So, well done to these silver players, guys. Well done. Well done, silvers. Well done. All right, let's go down. This will be. Just farming it up, so we're about 8 CS ahead of Zach. And we're going to continue closing that gap here. And making it even higher. I guess we're not closing a gap. We're opening a gap, aren't we, guys? For some reason, I'm having some uh, FPS issues here. Right out the gate. Alright. Continue to clear. Don't forget to be toxic. Do I look like a toxic kind of guy? Nah. I'm not toxic. Um, boss side crab's probably up, but we also have rift. I'm just AFK farming, honestly. I mean, we're making good value here. All right, so Zach is doing the whole I'm gonna focus bot lane thing. I might have to fight him in crab here, which would be whatever. Here's where the silver players fall apart. They take fights that they can't win. They waste Anya's that they shouldn't be wasting. All right, so um, at that point, this is where, in case you're unaware, this is where the game starts to go heavily in my favor, and this is probably where I won. So this is, like, if I had to identify a key point in this game where I won, this would be it right here, so. Uh, what happened is, is they took a fight that they should not have been taking and it's going to lead to me doing really well because now I have my Kraken I can fight for Rift Herald, they can't contest me right it, it's as easy as that that just gave me the victory right there alright, I'm going to back I'm going to look around to see if I have uh, some windows I can close because I have some FPS issues here Let's grab ourselves a Kraken, and I'll go for Rageblade next. So this is huge for me. Turning on my fan. <laughs> Gonna go down here. I go Kraken over Blade and Ring King. Yeah, I agree that you can go Blade and Ring King. And, uh, you know, now that I think about it, I did have enough money for Blade and Ring King. I should've went Blade and Ring King. That's actually good input from chat. All right, that's uh, that's a little rough that Nico was there. Yeah, Blade of Rain King probably would have been better. I didn't realize I had enough money for it. Okay, he got away. Dude, LeBlanc has no idea what's going on, though. She, she just, yeah. That's fine, though. Mm, I'll go down and clear. Maybe I'll clear this into the bot lane gank. Not too bad. Yeah, I had Noon Quiver, so I had to get Kraken eventually. Actually, I didn't have Noon Quiver. I had a uh, Recur Bow, right? Oh, no. I went Noon Quiver into Recur Bow. That's why. Okay, yeah, that's why I went uh, Kraken. Yeah. If I had just a Recurve, I would have went into Blade and Ring King. But since I had the Noon Quiver, I had to go Kraken. I do think the Blade and Ring King is a better item, but Noon Quiver gets you ahead earlier, which makes it the better item. Yeah, I'm not sure why Nico was just sitting there, but, you know, it, it, it worked out. It's a very, uh, very unpredictable thing to do. But you can see I'm not, like, super stomping right now or anything. I won't super stomp until I get more items. Mm. Doubt is the greatest enemy. Tch. 
I'm gonna blast over. I do not know why the enemy team does not back. Alright, not too bad. Dude, the Sneeko is actually kind of performing okay. Like, he's not like... He's not playing super great, but he's where he needs to be to try and make plays happen. Which is, uh... It's impressive. I give him that. It is pretty impressive. Fortunately, top lane's dead. I have to make my way up there, though. I don't know, dude. Zach's just chilling on one HP, going after the red buff. Five on this. So we grab bread. So I'm just waiting until I have enough for Ginzus, and then I will, uh... And then I'll pull back, which will be really close. I'm, I'm pretty close to it. And then we have to decide what, what part of the map we're going to gank, so. Uh, and I got to open up my PC. It is boiling hot in there, guys. Boiling hot. I have no idea why Jinx is mid. I guess they're uh, lane swapping. Uh, honestly, at this point, I could easily gank bot even without Guntus. I only need Guntus if we're going to have, like, a real team fight. Which should be, like, on Dragon, maybe. I mean, Rack on Varus are super overextended here. I got a dodgy ulti. And I missed. Okay, Rack on just brought himself to me. I don't, I, I don't know, dude. Like, it, it, it would have been fine if you just ran away with ulti, but that's the thing. That's what, like, silver players do. They think, oh, I got to fight this. There's enemies here. I got to go in. I got to try to be proactive, min-maxing, you know? Nice dodge. Thank you. I blame my uh, FPS for dipping. All right. Looks like they're fighting Zach bottom. I kind of don't really want to deal with Zack until I have Blade and Rune King, but I mean, if he's all by his lonesome, then don't mind if I do. Keep it like, okay, look at Rakon. He's doing it again. Right? Like, that that's very silver, <laughs> right? You, you... Zack is dead. Leave him alone. It is over. But he went in anyway. Right? Okay, so we're going to grab a Blade and Rune King as our next item here. Um, well, we could actually probably go for a Wit's End, maybe. Anyway, I'm getting fed. I told you I was already fed anyway, so it's fine. Don't forget that point that I pointed out where we uh, got ahead. It was that fight down there. And it's the same thing. It, that's actually what's losing that guy games. Is that he's going in on fights that he doesn't win. Like, he doesn't realize that he needs to let things go. Right? That seems to be a pretty big problem for him. Mmm... Let's go over here. Would Merc Treads be better than Berserker? I prefer Berserker for the early snowball. And on top of that, the Merc Treads only really work against, like, maybe the Nico and... Oh, there's a Nico coming. I don't want to deal with this. Okay, Rakon's overextended again. 
Bars missed ulti. It's another double kill. Um, that's a triple. Now I run up and I take Rift Herald. So you're probably at this point, you're probably saying, uh huh, maybe Kalisab won't lose this game. Because now you don't want to throw. Now that you have a nice big lead, I probably, I'm probably worth like 500 gold at this point, maybe almost 700. <laughs> yeah. So now the goal is, is that you don't die. An enemy bot, they don't know what to do. Like they're not contesting Shelly or whatever. Yeah, I can definitely, I'm feeling the macro mistakes here and I'm down to fill you guys in on what's going on here, right? So now they're defending this bot lane and they're just looking for fights instead of like having fights with meaning and purpose. And my team's doing it too. Like my team's down here just like randomly doing this. Like, I don't, I don't know why, I don't know how. I'm looking for some camps. I'm gonna go clear mid. I have Highlander up, so I shouldn't have a problem. And I'm also, I'm strong enough that I could do exactly what I tell you not to do, which is I can dive on these guys and probably get away with it, but I'm an expert, okay? So. Do at your own discretion, okay? <laughs> Experts only here, guys. Experts only. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna run up here. Don't try this at home, folks. Don't try this at home. And this is why they ban ye. All right, so we're gonna back. We're gonna get Blade and Rune King, and then we'll start working on Wits. And again, um, I feel like I won this game at that one point where I told you I won the game. That's where I realized that the game was over. So we got lucky there. We got lucky there. So hopefully if I show you guys the points where I realize the game is over, maybe that'll help some of you guys in terms of like getting better at the game or realizing when you're not closing out games when you should be. And you see how like I'm not up here like fighting with my team for whatever they're doing. Dragons in 30. Just farm camps for 30 seconds and then go do dragon. I just lost the game. You know, I was thinking about that as well when I said that. <laughs> yeah, if you guys don't know what the game is, the whole point of the game is to not think about the game. And when you think about the game, you lost the game. Mm. So now we have uh, the dragon. So now we go do dragon. And we could have popped Shelly up in the another lane. I'm actually saving Shelly so that I can pop her when I do Baron. Because the enemy team will flock to Shelly like flies flock into a light or is it mosquitoes? I don't even know. Poor guy all by his lonesome. Alright, so we summon Shelly in the bot lane. We're just going to wait a second for a nice little recurve bow. So Shelly's only purpose here isn't even to get towers. So if she gets it, it's nice. Like in high elo, if you summon a Shelly like this, she might actually get like a tower and a half. But in low elo, if you summon Shelly, they all go and stop Shelly and you just take Baron. So here we go. We're going to go over here. Pop a ward. Papa. <laughs> Start Baron. And you can see how fast I'm shredding it, even solo, right? Nobody's even coming. The enemy team has no idea I'm here. Nobody's warded it. There's another kill. Mordekaiser's on the move. I'm 100% willing to dive that dude. But I don't need to. He'll just... Uh... And I mean, if you get three items by 20, you're just... You're, you're an absolute giga chad, right? Okay. And uh, you see how they go in one at a time? Zach goes in. Varus goes in. And look at this. Shelly's still doing work. That's the whole point of Shelly, my friends. I mean, we got the bot tower completely, too. Hopefully my team's got this. I believe in them. 
All right, so let's go and check out the score here. Full dragon control. We got one of the rest. We had to give one up. We got 10 kills over the enemy. I have 14. It's not too bad for me. Teemo, the guy that I swapped with, isn't doing too great, but I told him at the beginning of the game I'd carry him, so I'm doing my job, guys. I'm doing my job. One K for Varus. Yeah, I am. I am petrified. I am petrified. Just imagine what a silver Varus is gonna do at one K gold. He's gonna. His positioning is gonna tear us up. Okay, so I'm probably just gonna run in and try to get a pentakill, uh, because honestly, the best time to farm pentakills is when you're uh, doing unranked climbs. <laughs> it's it's the best time. I'm sorry. Fall before strength. Bonk. All right, we're just gonna keep pushing, and like they're gonna come one at a time because they don't even realize I'm pushing. I'm just gonna dive him. I was an alpha or not. Okay, and my team should hopefully be able to finish that since I cleared out all the hard targets here. And uh, I'm really curious how much LP we're gonna get, guys. I mean, I'm hoping that it's like at least like 21, but I, I, I can't even imagine what it's gonna be. Let's see. All right, guys, so we're playing um, game two here. We got a Mundo top, Cassante, all is going well here. And uh, yeah, slowly trying to fix my FPS issues. I think it's an overheating issue, my friends. So uh, in between games, Luke does some thermal paste that I can maybe buy and we'll uh, get that all suited up here. Uh, we're looking at the Cassante versus Mundo. It's actually kind of an interesting lane. He's pretty overextended. Let's grab this. Bro, I actually kind of legitimately would like to gank that because Cassante is playing very selfishly. Uh, we're also starting in a 0-2 here. So if you guys want to see me lose, maybe this is the one I lose in, guys. My bot lane fed. My mid lane fed. I am going to get Cassante, though. Look at him. Look how overextended he is. Like, it's just a gank that I recognize, you know? And that's the thing is about, like, in, in lower elo, it's easier to gank things like this than high elo. Because in high elo, they usually have a ward, and then when you gank it, they walk away, you know? I'm gonna go down here. I saw Lee Sin. I think he was over here. I don't know if he had blue or not. He's probably in my blue buff right now. I didn't get the kill. Unfortunate for me, guys. But uh, I'm gonna go down and try to clear this here. Uh, yeah, so he's definitely in my boss side, which means he might try to gank a lane afterwards. Lee Sen mid. I'm trying to warn her. It's not going to be enough. You're going to die to Lee Sen anyway. I can feel it in my bones. Hey, she didn't die to him. Let's go. I'm actually pretty impressed. Right? Like, that's actually a pretty big deal here. So, Lee Sen's going for Crab. I'm going to participate in this. Oh, she died to Zerath. I can't fight this. I don't have a mid laner. I win, obviously, 1v1. The problem is, is with the, the lack of a mid laner. Well, level two meditate, you're gonna have to deliver for me. Ah, oh, shoot. She's not gonna kill him, huh? Oh my goodness gracious. Wait, did Lee Sin just go back in? Yeah, I was trying to dodge his Q, but it was a little bit off on that. A 5-2 start, here you go guys. This one won't be so easy.
It's impressive. My monitor tears like that. Bro, I know what 144 hertz means. I'm just telling you what it does. I am legitimately telling you what it does. Let's see if we... Let me, let me see if I still have the issue at 144. Let me show. Screen interface. 144 hertz. All right. Yeah, it is super laggy, but I don't see the line that typically viewers on stream can see. Not in this game, but sometimes it appears for people. But I just I can't play it. I cannot play at 144. I have to play at least 160. I think my monitor is just all kinds of busted. I never had these problems when I was playing 60 hertz. Nothing but problems. I highly do not recommend upgrading your monitor, guys. If you're running 60 hertz, keep it on 60 hertz. All right, how are we gonna get this? It's caused me nothing but pain and misery. If you don't know what you're missing out on, you're happier for it. Six two. Can Calcep carry this, guys? So there we go. We got a hard game. So this is actually the kind of games you should be more interested in because seeing how I can manage to carry a game like this is uh, pretty impactful. Why do I not have timers on my camps? Yikes. Yikes. Can I kill him? Okay, so the question is, why does he still have flash up? That's annoying. All right, let's uh, go for the pickaxe here. Hmm. An enemy has been slain. Do not let your pride blind you. Okay. What you got on this dude? Over the wall, I'm level 6 now. Is that a support pantheon? It is. I need to finish this Gunzus. I'm actually okay. Lee sends on a killing spree. Woo boys. It's gonna be a hard one. Two going by. Doubt. I, I had a lot of problems running G-Sync as well. I had to turn off G-Sync. That's a big wave mid. All right, boys, we're pulling it back and I'll let you guys know when I feel like the game flips into a point where I can't lose anymore. So, I mean, I don't think I'll lose a game like this, but I'm not at the point where I'm like, okay, I won, right? Like, that point still has to come up somewhere. And how we do it. An ally has been slain. That was a good prediction by him. Holy crap, dude. My team is taking no time in inting, huh? They just... They're going hard. I'm just clearing it. I don't care about CS because I gotta go to the Rift Herald ASAP. Well, Lee Sin still bought. So you can see here, it's really obvious where I'm going, right? And Zeras not even coming. Oh my god, bro. What the hell, man? Okay, well, that went well. Okay, you know, Pantheon's on a different level, dude. 
This is, this is, he's a master tier level support there, running for the Rift Herald in nine minutes. I tell you what, dude, you don't see players like that until later in your life. All right, running it down. Getting Scud, I, I think like getting Rift Herald would have been huge for me. But, uh, you know, we gotta make do with what we got. Because I'm a little low on levels here. Compared to where I should be. I can clear the camps or I can go for, like, a bot gank. But, like, when I'm playing in this elo, it's not about my team. Right? Like, if I was in higher elo, I'm like, my team should be winning bot hands down super easy. But in this elo, it's like, it doesn't matter. I can't rely on them. Right? It just, it's, they're unreliable. So, it doesn't matter if they're winning bot or not. It's up to me to carry. This thing's probably going top ish. So I will never rely on my team making a play or a move there. I mean, I do not care about that CS at all. I need my jungle camps. Uh, they got dragon too. I mean, Lee Sen's going for that. I'll probably get Blade Ranking next. Because they got a lot of tanks as well. Everybody on the enemy team is better than everybody on my team. So we got that confirmed here, right? And Lee Sin's outperforming me. But I'm still going to win. Because what happens is the enemy gets really confident. Cassante doesn't ward. Oh my god. Bro, what is this Zera? He's just shooting in the same place, dude. Not even trying to predict me. Okay, that was a really big thing, and that makes me more confident in the victory. We haven't won yet, but that makes me way more confident. I gotta watch for Pantheon jump, though. That was wild that Lee Sin was waiting in that bush, though. Never await victory. Oh. Let it go, my friends. We can't win it. Ward it and let me farm. Uh, silver player sea dragon they go dragon let's see what they're saying yeeka yeah they're flaming me <laughs> silver players bro silver players okay like they don't realize that we can let those go like you don't have to have every dragon right okay why is he pushing they're playing very silver like right now they're making it so that i have to work very hard to carry them they they need to just like chill out and back off, you know? Chill off and let me farm. Stop piping and let me farm. I might be able to get her here. It depends on if Lee Sin's sitting in the bush again. I'm gonna full back for the Blade Ring King here. I'm down for this, but I need Sona to come. Because I can't do that without him. Alright, let's see what Akali has to say. Okay, Ling. <laughs> Bro, it's amazing when you have somebody that's like gold or silver. And they don't realize that they're playing with somebody that is superiorly just way better than them. And they're just blaming you and they're talking and etc. That's why you should never ever get offended when people talk. Because they're wrong. They're wrong all the time. 
They don't know any better. They don't know. Everything I'm doing is the right decision. Going for that dragon, not the right decision. Oh my god, I keep turning on my champion attack. They're amazing. They truly are. <laughs> truly amazing. But I'm just biding my time. And I'm working up to it, guys. There's still no pivot point where I feel like I won the game. But if there's a point that put me back in the game, it was definitely when Lisa and gave me that 800 shutdown. The game's still not 100% won at this point. Uh, if Lee Sin tries to solo me, I can kill him. Do I want tabbies? I think I prop like, okay. So we're kind of in a really sticky situation where I don't really know what I want because we have Lee Sin, Kasante, Kaisa, Pantheon. It's a pretty good tabby, but. I have a two item power spike here, which is huge. I'm missing one stack on my thing, which is terrible, by the way. Okay, we won. That's it. That's GG right there. Yeah, so uh, at this point, I'm pretty confident we win. They uh, just uh, fully gave me the game right there. So, yeah, I would say that's definitely the pivot point. Like, you see how, like, Akali overextends for no reason, and now she's dead, right? That's a very silver thing to do. That is, that is a very silver thing to do. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to get a Death Dance. I think it can work out for me here. Like, if I don't get a Kraken early, my third item's a little bit rough. But Death Dance is pretty okay. Maybe I should have went for uh, Tabbies or whatever. I got three items. We fight Drag. See, now you see how like now we can fight Dragon and it's no big deal. Right? Losing that first Dragon didn't even matter. Ezreal trying to last hit my stuff. They don't have Cassante. He does have TP though. Look at that. No harm, no foul. We didn't have to get that other dragon, but they died for it anyway, right? I feel very confident in our ability to win this game now. Though I don't really like where my build's taking me, but we'll see. Like a Witsim would be nice for Zeras, but that's about it. I mean Kaisa too. Oh, Kaisa's AP. Yeah, Witsim would be nice. Oh, I'll split a bit. If I can get that inner tower, that's 600 gold for me, which is also huge. And I can split into Cassante pretty easily. I could also do Baron pretty easily. Okay. That, oh, oh. All right. All right. Five seconds of CC. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. 
Sure, 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 sure. I'm gonna get Mercs. I actually think Mercs work against uh, some of the Cassante mini stuns there. Also works against Pantheon. Yeah, that was uh, that was a lot of CC. Like, right there. That was that was a great amount of CC. Pretty great. I mean, that was really annoying. <laughs> this is why I banned Cassante in high elo. But he's actually not as good in this elo. He actually has like a 44% win rate. I don't know how. I don't know how players are bad with him. Maybe it's... I, I, do, I actually don't know. Like, I'm trying to I'm trying to sit here and figure it out. But I, I can't. I'm sorry. I hope my blast plant's up. If it is, I can easily do Baron. Fog. Can do BR. Master is an eternal student. I need Mundo to tank this. If Mundo tanks, I get 100% damage. Yeah, these barons work really well in low elo, though. I'm not gonna lie, Mendo's a Giga Chad. Well done, brother. <laughs> Sona, on the other hand, not so much. Alright. Yeah, Mercs definitely help a ton. Like, it just. It, it helps a ton. Like, you see the difference with Mercs versus no Mercs? Mundo, I, I, I actually think uh, without Mundo there, that would have been a really bad play. So I, I think I got a little lucky there with uh, Mundo helping me out. So much love to Mundo, sir. He, he's a Giga Chad. Yeah, bounties are great. I'm really tempted to get like a hole breaker. Like straight up. But yeah, these barons are very good in low elo. That I'm actually a little surprised they went and checked it even. But yeah. They got two top. Two top. I'm just pushing this wave out. All right. Ezreal missed everything. Uh, my level, look at my level versus Lee Sins, by the way. Remember how Fetty got? He was 404. Look at our level diff. I'm level, I'm five levels ahead of him. Oh my god, the dragon reset. <laughs> oh, the dragon turned away when I smited and it healed up and then he stole it. Talk about lucky, dude. We can just end now. And we could have had Dragon to boot, though. I'm just saying. I need somebody else to hit him for me. He has no ulti now. They don't win this. Oh, Pantheon's in. Man, they respond a lot faster than I thought. No, don't go back in. <laughs> don't go back in. Just let it go, bro. 
I had so much gold though. Do I want a hole breaker? I kind of am feeling my solo split life here. No, bro, dude. Oh. Bro, Akali's trying too hard to make plays. Um, I kind of tempted to get a hole breaker. Or like some kind of like tankiness. Maybe like a Titanic or something. Oh, I'm alive, aren't I? <laughs> Bro took my red. I don't stand for that. Flash and heal. All right. <laughs> Was my red worth it? Defend yourself. I don't have Kraken, I just realized. I'm not going to run GA because I don't trust my team to, like, do anything while I'm dead. GA is something you get when you trust your team. I do not trust my team. Pantheon's probably gonna jump me here. Well, I just got 4v1 rag team there. Wait, why is somebody dead? There are four top. It really makes you wonder what everybody else is doing. I mean, I got exhausted too. I got, or no, ignited. Wait, they didn't have exhaust? I think it's just I have CC. Dude, I was only CC for 1.44. I don't know what really happened. Defend the BR until I'm up. And plus, I'm going to be splitting up a butt ton, right? So. Sauna by herself. Absolutely nobody helping her. Fight me. BR. Ignore them. It's hard to get a silver player off a of chase, guys, but we did it. Go heal. Heal and go DR. Heal and DR. All right, Sona did not heal. Where, what is, what is a collie doing? The enemy's All right. I got a little bit greedy and ambitious when I tried to end it. I should have played it slow, which is what I normally do. <sighs> Maybe I'll just get a Sterags instead of a Hall Breaker, to be honest. I got so much money. Legit, let me finish this.
Okay, somehow I missed cannon. Yeah, I'll just get this instead, I suppose. You know what's really funny is the shield on this is bigger than the shield on shield bow. Shield bow only gives you 500 to level 18. This gives you 700. Oh, Isn't that funny? I don't have any bonus HP either. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, somehow, yeah, I don't know. Kali's doing silver things right now. It's fine. I have a big level advantage. We just push and end. This time I'm feeling quite ambitious. Because they're all, they're nowhere to be seen, right? The enemy team's all chasing after our Kali. Okay, our support is not supporting. I want to end it, but like we're missing support. If we can, if he can kill the tower, we're good. I just cancel my meditate. Bro, just hit the sec the wrong way. And we still lost the fight. I'm actually kind of struggling, huh? Wait, what is Sona doing? Oh, oh, she got it. She got it. Dude, my team might actually win this. Get it! <sighs> Alright. Cassante doing Cassante thing. Ezreal missed his ability. This is just... This is a fiesta and a half. And Pantheon's late to the fight. I don't even know how to feel, to be honest. But, you know, we, may, we, we do what we can. You know? We do what we can. We do what we can, guys. We do what we can. I mean, Mundo's gonna try to push it. He'll be able to get the tower. It'd be kind of hard for him to end it, but he can definitely get tower. Because Kaisa's in 13. I don't know if he can even kill the Nexus by then. Oh, yeah, they can. I, I think maybe they can. I mean, if he ignores the Pantheon, but he should, uh... <laughs> uh... All right. Is the greatest <laughs> I personally am not a firm believer in trying to backdoor. Especially on Yi. I feel like it's heavily overrated. Bro, you know what I realized is that my Sterags literally didn't even pop in that last fight. Oh, I did have an HP item. I had uh, my pot. Uh, I gotta go for dragon. Yeah, I'm sorry. These silver players are giving me a run for my money. Let's check their elo. Gold, gold, gold. I guess we gotta kind of stop calling them silver. They're mid gold, huh? These gold players are giving me a run for my money, guys. Run for my money. What could I say? We need a little bit of push on bot lane. I'm struggling, boys. Okay, nobody push bottom. That is such a big wave. I mean, I'm like full build, so... Alright, Sona just gonna face check Dragon here. Two BR, boys. Also, I bought a pot so that it would encompass both Baron and Dragon. I mean, we win objectives, so we should definitely be going for those objectives. I don't know what the hell Akali is doing. Uh, he's he's in his own little world, dude. Oh, he's going for the back door. No, he's not. I don't know what he's doing. Mundo, you should be tanking Baron, buddy. Bro, how do they just have, like, everything up? 
Do like, you see they just have like everything up, bro? Come on, man. All right. Well, that should be the end. Hopefully. I think my team's got this. By God. And now here's the thing, guys. You know when I said you can't rely on your team in low elo? There's some things you have to rely on them to do. Like 1v2 and end the game. Come on. You guys got this. I believe you. I believe in you fully, guys. I believe in you fully. Thank God. That was probably the hardest game I've had in the past month. I'm not even going to lie. All right, guys. We're in promos for gold. Let's get it. Oh, look at those. Dude, the honors are coming in. All right, guys. We're here in game three. Um, my team is fighting. I'm coming. I guess I'm coming. Enemy team's winning that, but the enemy is... They're backing off. Dude, she took my kill. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Great start. All right, I'm going to tell you guys something. I almost won this game for sure. Just from that fight there. But they do have a Ramus and they have a Lowie. But I'm very, very confident in my ability to win this game here. And I know what you're thinking. Like, some of you guys that are, like, goldish are probably sitting here thinking, like, but so, like, they feed a kill like that and you just automatically win the game? Yeah, it's really that simple. Uh, let me show you guys the elo. So tons of like higher gold players on the enemy team. Like three gold twos. It's it's really that easy. Like there's no difference between me and you. This is this is more directed at the like low elo players. If you're high elo, you know, you can ignore this. Just just enjoy the game. But for like low elo players, the only difference between me and you is my knowledge and my experience with the game. But you could get that. You could get that in like a week. If you really wanted to, you can get that in a week. If you like really focus on it, right? Like, you never feel like, oh, I can't win against this person because of my team or whatever. Like, you don't feel like that. Like, think about how you can beat the situation. How can you make the game better, you know? Like, you have to believe that you can do anything. Like, even if you're against a rank one player, you can beat them. You can. That's the beauty of League of Legends is you can actually beat them. Right? And I guess that's, uh, that's kind of what we're going to be doing in the series is to... Try and help some of you guys out with that. All right, secured. Okay, so Ramus is over here in the boss side crab. And I'm just going to, like, you can see how I'm just, like, consistently clearing. Just enjoying my life here, guys. Not, not like, suiciding for any of these things. I only really go for the ganks that are super obvious and super easy. How do you know if they're super obvious and easy? Uh, you'll, you'll figure it out over time. You'll feel it. Like this gank here. If I was here, I could gank it, right? But I'm not. I'm over here. But I'm not going to go out of my way to go over there. Like it's a gank, right? It's totally gankable. Can you clear that pink? But like if you're like over here, it's no longer gankable because you'll waste too much time. Too much time will be wasted going for it. Hmm. Vision not pink. Anger gives After this, I go by. I'm just gonna let them know ahead of time. Did you miss it? He not learned yet. Oh, he's still level two. Free gank right here. I don't think Caitlyn has flash. Oh, she does. Oh, he did. <laughs> like, what's he gonna do? I'll just give that to Bane because I don't have a choice. Uh, I guess I'll go clear this now. They have three tanks. So it'd definitely be a good game to go Blade and Ranking over Kraken. But I have enough for Noon Quiver. So you kind of, you got to sit here and you got to think. Do I want to go get Noon Quiver because I have enough for it? Or do I want to get Blade Ring King because they're against three tanks? And really, I don't think there's a wrong answer to this. I think it's uh, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, I mean, I'll go for Kraken just to show you that Kraken works. I personally, I think Blade Ring King is better. Like, I think getting an early Blade Ring King is better because it just saves you so much room for getting items. I would probably get Blade Ring King in this situation. But, you know, for the purposes of just showing you that Kraken works, I'll get Kraken. 
Nice. Alistar over here. Dude, he walked up, autoed it, and took a bunch of damage. Amazing. What a giga, Chad. Whoopsie. Uh, we could dive that dude. Shove lane and we dive. Oh my god, there's a gromp. I'm waiting for him to shove anyway, so I'm just gonna grab gromp. Okay. Me first. One cannot trust silver players to let the guy have an untarget ability to go first. You cannot trust. Cannot trust. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. All right, we're going to wait for the Kraken. Because, okay, let me explain why he goes first. Because some of you guys actually probably don't know this. So, Mashi has, like, the best tower diving in the game. Like, probably the best. I can't really think of anybody with more except, like, a Fizz with Zanyas. Right? So... What you do is you hit them first on Yi, you get low, you tower die, or you, you dodge the tower with your alpha, you dodge the projectile, right? It's minus one projectile. And then you swap the aggro to Alistar, or Vayne even. Vayne's even better because she can tumble out when she gets low. You you swap the aggro, and then you kill everybody, right? Okay, so Rift is spawning soon. I'm going to get in position for that. Also, I just want to point out when I bought this Kraken... Um, even if I wasn't buying Kraken to show you guys that Kraken works, I would have bought Kraken. And the reason why is because I had 3k gold, which is just enough to finish Kraken, but not enough for Blade of Ring King. But if I had enough for Blade of Ring King, I would have bought Blade of Ring King 100%. I mean, I would have bought it 100% anyway, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go for Rift. Wow. Yasuo is actually some kind of giga chat here. Can he not just knock up Braum when he dashes in? Bro, you want my help? Oh my god, he just missed a... Well, okay, we're in trouble. Dude, why am I still auto-attacking Ramus? Well, rough time, boys. Rough time. All right, I'm still going to go for this, though. Can, can you stop Ramus? I'm heading there now. Stop Ramus. Yo, silver, silver surfer, bro. Okay. I don't know where Ramus is. Impossible. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Hmm. Yeah, so is coming like I'm gonna give this to him. No. No. Absolutely not, sir. Wait, why didn't allow it just ulti to Sion? Bro forgot to use his ulti on Sion. Good job, mate. Hey, thank you so much, I tip it for the prime sub, bro. Good job, mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm out of here. Oh my god. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Okay. He missed. Alright. Let's hope that he actually comes and scouts a crab.
Well, this dude has his anti-heal already. A little bit of outplay going on there. Nice, I know. I know. Yo, thank you again for the sub, bro. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, by the way, um, I already won. <laughs> I, I I told you guys that a while ago, but yeah, I already won. I. Uh, is that red up? No. Oh, by the way, that's why I love level three meditate. You see how powerful that is? Like a lot of Yi players don't actually realize how much you get out of meditate. Like, look how, look how good this is. Like, if Bramus comes, I kill him again. All right, time for the dragon. I actually have enough for Blade and Rune King really soon, so... I don't really have anything to do while I wait, so I'm just going to scout the jungle out to see if I find Bramus. All right, let's back. Oh, Bramus bot. Oh, yeah, and you can see it's a 14-12 game. And I'm still really confident that we won. I could buy Gunju's. If I was like closer to Gunju's, I'd buy Gunju's over Blade of Ranking here. Doesn't matter though. I just like to buy Power Spikes. You, you probably noticed that about me. I like to buy Power Spikes. We can fight this. I got two items. Hmm. Ramus is going to go for this 100%. It's going to be a dumb play and it's going to win. Because that's what silver players do. Watch. Like, easy. Very nice. All right. Not too bad. Like, there's no reason to actually go for the dragon there. Because he doesn't have prio on it. He knows he doesn't have prio on it, but he tries it anyway. Because he thinks, oh, I killed Bot. He doesn't think, oh, where is Master Yi? Or, oh, how fed is Master Yi? What is Master Yi gonna do? Let's go over here. Mm. Mm, let's go for this over here. You're sorry for harm? Dude. You don't have to worry about the things you say to me, man. Everybody's a kid at one point and said dumb things. It is fine. It is fine. All right, let's go over here for this. So we have more than half the team kills. And once you snowball like this, you're unstoppable. As long as you don't like go full dumb dumb. You don't even need to be like, you don't even need to be like, a mechanical god. You could just be a right click E player and you got this. Alright, what do we got here? I'm gonna go in here. I'm just clearing out Ramus' stuff. He's trying too hard to make these ganks work. Also, I kind of have a feeling that he actually picked Ramus just to counter my Yi because I first pick E. Because you always got to first pick E in low elo or he can get picked, right? Nice flash. <laughs> He's pinging himself. My bad, my bad. It's fine. I forgive you. Now, I do kind of wonder, which is why I'm going to do a series on it. I kind of wonder what... E oh my god, he killed the minion I alpha. I do kind of wonder, like... What elo would I struggle with if I wasn't playing E? Like, would I get stuck in silver? So that's something I'm very interested in. I think he's a really unique situation because Mashi is really OP and really good and he can he could solo carry games, right? But if I'm not playing E, can I still do that? Like what kind of jungler would I go with? I, I, dude, I, I don't like Graves or Kha'Zix. I don't really like those junglers. I mean, I kind of enjoyed Kha'Zix, but I throw a bit. Ramus might come, so I'm just going to AFK here just in case he rolls up into me and I kill him. I probably shouldn't have eat it, but... Is what it is. All right, let's grab this, grab this. And also, I will be out of this elo. By the time this video is over, we're going to be playing with plats. 
so. Mm. Why do you go cracking first? It speeds up your clear, and it's still pretty good. On Kale, where would I peek? Well, the problem with Kale is you have to laner. So, silver. All right, let's secure it. I don't like Kindred either. I think Nocturne looks like he'd be fun. But Nocturne doesn't really have that kill spreak thing that Mashi does, you know? Like, I feel like when I get fed on Yi, I'm unstoppable. Like, I, I feel like I could honestly just walk up to their Nexus and Pentakill right now, and they can't stop me. Right? I would never feel that way with a different champ. Owie. Ow. Let's just keep running. Well, I lied. They stopped me. I didn't think they would, but they did. <laughs> they did. They did stop me. Evelyn can snowball pretty good too, right? But like single champion snowballers just don't dominate low elo like a multi snowballer like Yi would. My minions, what's going on? I mean, everybody's sitting here just playing their own game, you know? Or maybe they're playing a different game and I'm playing, I'm playing my own game, aren't I? Everybody else is playing a different game than me. Ramus, roll into me before your team gets here. Come on, brother. Come on, guys. That's one. Interesting exhaust, honestly. I like how our team's pinging the dragon while we're literally on the Nexus trying to end it. Oof. Solid effort. Wait, did Alawi just TP to their Nexus tower? Oh, was he top? Okay, yeah, you get that. You get that red buff, Vayne. Even the red buff looks problematic for her. That was a lot of tower damage. I'm kind of throwing them shutdowns, by the way, which you definitely should not be doing. I want to get a Wits, but I can't afford it. So maybe I'll just grab me a Phantom Dancer. I mean, I could sell Boots. I mean, sell Boots and go Wits. I mean, I don't even think Ramus has two items at this point. Yeah, he doesn't. I have four. So we kill Baron, and then we can end it. Uh, I'll probably go for the red first, though. Let me in. Or I could just go in it. Technically, they have four top. I could. This is how you get pentas right here, guys. I just get rid of that tower because it hurts. Gonna come defend or what, Kate? Just stand there. <laughs> like, like, come on, buddy. Victory. All right, next. Hey guys, well honored to Scion. Maybe Alistar was a good choice there, and we're sitting at one win in our silver promos or two gold promos. Sorry. All right, guys. So we're playing in game number three, four. I don't know, but the good news is, is we're playing with platinum players already, guys. So we got plat four, plat four, and uh, we're making some good progress. Pretty happy with how this goes. Mm. 
Fiora versus the Yasuo top. But this also means that the games are going to get a little bit harder. I'm a little bit disappointed because I'm going to be honest, guys. I wanted to stay in silver for like an entire video. But the fact that we went from silver to platinum within like four games is really disappointing. Um, maybe next time I should make sure I'm more hard stuck. Sorry about that. Next next time I'll make sure I'm more hard stuck. I'm going to be honest, guys. I could probably get this. I could get this account to masters in like four videos. Feels bad, man. But it, but it's a diamond climb, okay? Not a master's climb. So we're not going to do that. Or are we? Are we? All right. Let's grab ourselves some wolves. Beautiful. Keep it up, team. Jesus, a 0-4 start. I'm not going to have to work at all for this game. You love to see it. Eclipse need 2,300 gold. Dude, my bot lane's smashing. My top lane did well, too. I have a mid-gen, though. I mean, the mid-gen's a little bit awkward. But, dude, honestly, like, in this elo, I don't care what my comp looks like. Like, I feel like team comp isn't really an issue until you get high elo. I mean, sometimes there's, like, problems where you don't want to play against, like, Zach Wukongs. Understandable, but I never I never look at a low elo comp and be like, man, I'm screwed. Unless they have, like, Vayne near me. That's the only time, man. Like, I feel like a monkey could play Vayne. Like, straight up. Like, Vayne is, like, the most ridiculous champion in the game. Like, if she gets fed. Apparently, the only balance of Vayne is the laning phase. Which is why I really hate Vayne. Because you can't really control the laning phase and how fed she gets. That's probably why I hate her so much. Like, yeah, okay, maybe she's not super OP. Oh my god. What in the world is this? Oh, it's a Yumi, right? Okay, so Katarina just saw me clear this ward. Ah. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. I thought he might still not have his stealth up. Oh, brother. That's why I hit him. Otherwise, I would have hit Katarina. I thought I can get him before his stealth went. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, meditate in the fountain because you get infinite mana as a jungler. And then we'll move on and we'll go for these. No, there's no AB testing on shorts. Okay. What do we got here? What do we got here? Doubt is the greatest enemy. I mean, Fiora got Yasuo low and in low elo, like I'd say like anything under under diamond for sure. This is an invitation for Fiora to overextend and try to kill him. So I should be able to just walk around and kill her here because Yasuo low HP. My teammate being low HP is an advantage for me. Please don't get six off of that. Why did Yasuo's never use their knock up on their dash? Isn't that a thing? That's a thing, right? I'm not crazy, right? Yes, through stone. All right, let's put that there. Okay, Gromp is acquired. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, walk away from him. I mean, I can beat him, but I don't really want to waste my time. Oh. This could be problematic if he actually bothers to come on here. Well, Jen's saving my life. What a hero. Oh my god, I just canceled my meditate. No. So I'm actually going to back because of my red buff. So my red buff is respawning. I've got a sweeper here. So I don't want to give this to Shaco. Which is why I'm going to back get a Noon Quiver so I have enough clearing power for it. Because he's also on this side. Whoop whoop. 
I mean, if I could hit level six, I can easily kill Fiora. She pushing. Uh, she gonna push really hard. Bro, it takes so long to kill this thing. Why? She's gonna try to push for plates. It's so greedy. It is so greedy. I wish I was, uh, I wish I was six. Uh, uh, why? Thank you. You want to emote me again, baby? Emoji me again. I dare you. Uh, if she kept running, she would have been fine. But that's uh, why is she stuck in gold too. Now you all know. All right, sneak along the side here. They can't actually see you if you walk along the side, so definitely do that, guys. Beautiful. All right, secured rift. Boink. Boink. Fiora's 1-3. I could probably just dive her, honestly. I don't know where she's at. I'm going to put this ward here because I can, okay? I don't think it's a good idea, but... I mean, Shaq will definitely watch her here again. Dude, you know what a good idea is? Taking that tower. I can get all the tower gold. Yasuo yeah, has no TP. Let us begin. Rampage. <laughs> <laughs> this is all mine, baby. All mine. Look at all this gold. Boom. 175. Boom. Another 175. Boom. Full tower gold. Boom, baby. Oh, yeah. Plus first tower blood. Let's get it. All right, guys. I won. <laughs> that, that's the end of it for them. I mean, I probably won earlier than this, but I'm, I'm at the point where I feel pretty comfortable saying I won this game. All right, let's get Berserkers. Mm -mm 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 -mm. If I have a brain and I start playing Mashi, how far can I climb before struggling? I mean, I think the biggest thing stopping Yi players from climbing is Yi gets banned. And then they have to, like, play something they're not good at. And then it's just an infinite cycle of being stuck down there. I think Platinum is a pretty reasonable goal for any bad Yi player. Though, nowadays, it is harder to play Yi in uh, low elo. They did a pretty good job of balancing him, honestly. There we go. Zap. Owie. Nobody got this dragon yet, huh? I love Kraken for this early clear. Somebody's on the other side of the wall. I could tell because I alphaed. And when you alpha and the thing moves, somebody's there. I'm getting a level two meditate. Hi, Yumi. Excuse me. Oh, sorry about that. Really unlucky for you guys. All right. I mean, dude, I'd probably be pretty tilted if I was him, but you know. <laughs> you know how it goes. You know how it goes. Level 2 meditate, what could I say? Does your E make your Q do extra damage? Yes. They that they didn't used to, but they made a change to make that happen. Mashi's had a lot of great changes over the years, so Mashi used to have a cast time on Q. He used to have a cast time on W. His Q didn't apply on hit effects. His Q also could only hit the same target one time. Uh so it didn't have many bounces. Um, his E used to have an AD ratio, but, or like extra AD, used to get like 10% extra AD. Uh, meditate used to be 35 seconds long. And meditate used to also block like 90% of tower damage if you bugged it correctly. He's had a lot of changes, a lot of things. So, does IEE make sense? So I'll be doing a talk about IEE in the next patch.
because he gets a pretty significant buff and it'll be worth making a uh, a guide video on, in my opinion. So his Q did have an AP ratio. That was really long. Oh yeah, they give him extra range too. That's true. They give him like an extra 50 range. Yeah, like cast time is bull. So I'm actually, I'm really, really, really surprised I managed to convince Riot to remove cast times. So if you don't know, I was approached about some of the changes with Master Yi and some of the things I didn't like about Yi and some of the ways I, I had to basically, I wrote a document to the balance team stating like it was like three page document. It's like, here's how I feel when I play Yi. Here's what I like when I play Yi. Here's what I don't like when I play Yi. Here are the things that counter Yi. Here are the things that blah, 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 blah. And one of my biggest gripes was the cast time on Q and W, right? And also on top of that, the cast times made the alpha bug a thing, right? Why do I do no damage to her? Like, dude, is she like a tank? What the? Do you guys see that? I do no damage to her. But yeah, like one of the biggest problems for me was the alpha, the alpha bug, right? And removing the cast time is huge for that. I didn't actually expect them to remove the cast time for W, but removing cast time for W is also huge. They did listen, and that's why I have the most respect for Riot. Uh, I don't remember his name. Maybe it was Zin. Ex no, maybe it was Repertoire. I don't know. Zinajer and Repertoire are both very receptive for Master Yi related things. Um, they were willing to sit down and listen. They didn't take all my input. Right? Because obviously I'm not going to be able to properly balance you. I have my own biases and I understand that. But they did take input. There were some things that they were considering doing. They were going to remove Master Yi's slow immunity on his R. And instead he was going to have ramping up loose. Speed. Right? And I'm like, no. <laughs> like, no, no. I mean, you could try it, but no, that's not what Yi does. And then on top of that, they also gave us pausing abilities during Alpha Strike and Meditate. Right? Like all of that stuff, that is all stuff that I recommend. And I'm just, I'm so happy that they listened. Like, dude, it's like Yi is like the most balanced he's ever been. Now, the thing that they did do, the thing that they did, there are things that they did that I didn't recommend. They lowered Meditate cooldown. I mean, I didn't recommend Meditate. I talked about Meditate. I didn't, I didn't tell them to lower the cooldown, but when I discussed Meditate with them, I said that we like to use it as a reset. We never use it for the heal. Very rarely use it for the heal, right? And so we like to like intertwine Meditate with our kit and you know, like how we're, you know, like we use it to like auto reset to block. The biggest thing for me is I said to them, I love it when I do a Meditate that blocks damage and resets my auto at the same time. Oh yeah, they also moved his auto reset to E. And I disagreed with that as well. And some of you guys are probably going to hate me for that. But I, in my opinion, I think the Meditate reset is better than an E reset. Especially because when you think about it, your E isn't going to have E applied to it if you reset. But with Meditate, both your hits can have it applied. And it also gives more value to Meditate as well. I, I, think, I think they just did a wonderful job. No, E does not auto reset. But they were going to make it auto reset. Because most people think that E is the better auto reset, right? But to me, I personally, I thought that the auto reset is better on W. Is this a real one or the fake one? No. I'm just going to get out of here. Like... What did they do to cause the win rate to go down? So there were a few things they did. Okay, let me let me talk about the changes that they did. Oh, the game's in eight. I don't, I don't know. It's it's really hard to explain what I asked them to do and what they did on their own. They did some things on their own, but they also did some things that I that I wanted. I I just I think they just did fantastic on you. He's very balanced. Maybe I'll talk about it more in the next game. Okay, guys, we are promoted to gold four. I'm gonna be honest, guys. This climb's going too fast. I need it to slow down a little bit, please. All right, guys, here we are playing another round. So the good news on this one is we're playing with mostly low golds. So, you know, maybe this will hit closer to home for some people. Now, let's smite this. So we are up against Nidalee. My team's doing a really good job of actually putting a ward there. It's pretty rare in this elo to see a ward like that. That gives good info. Nidalee's going for a top gank a level three. Nidalee, prob top gank, level three, care. 
I'm gonna ping again as soon as I finish these raptors. All right, I got EXP for that. Thank you. All right, Nidalee's definitely top side ish. I might get invaded. Only top side. I'm taking a slow. Uh, you know, if you're a better jungler than the enemy jungler, at least you don't have to worry about your jungler doing that. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. I've done that a few times. I, I, I can't even hate on her for that. But this is really bad for her because she has 12 CS. Meanwhile, I have 16. I'm about to get 20. I get the topside crab without any contestment. Shen gets a kill. Like, that is just such a... That is so bad for her. That is just... Why? Okay, I'm going to actually address this concern here. So I really love this statement, and I want you to be as as free as possible when I'm sitting here, okay? So we got somebody that says, why is your gold elo so bad? I wish my EUS peeps were that bad in gold. So this is actually a really interesting phenomenon. The thing is, is that your gold players are also bad, right? But I'm so good that I make them look worse. I got this. Right? And and you also, you perceive the games to be harder than they actually are because you're the same level as these players. Okay? Let me let me give you some examples. And I'm I'm not trying to flame anybody. I'm just I'm just showing you how it is. So there's a game I play on the site. It's called Mobile Legends. Okay, it's like League of Legends, but for phone. Okay, and the Filipinos are gods in that game, right? The like all the best teams are Philippines and blah 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 blah, right? They're they're the Korea server of Mobile Legends, and I play there on occasion, right? And I'll take clips from it, and I'll put clips, and then you know what people say when they see my clips? Your server easy, your serve noob, your serve so bad, and I'm playing, and they're like, come play in Philippines. Come play here. And I'm playing in the Philippines. It's literally a clip of the Philippines. But they, they have this perception. Like, their perception of, like, how good the players are that they're playing against and all that stuff. Like, they don't understand that good players make bad players look worse. It's just how it is. Now, don't get me wrong. Like, some regions are definitely a little bit harder than others. But it's in high elo. Not low elo. Like, gold players are bad. Like, no matter no matter where you're from, gold players are bad, okay? Like, your, your EU West... And again, I'm not flaming or anything. You can, you can just not believe me if you want to. But your EU West players aren't, like, good. They're not better than this. They're just as bad. Oh, my God, dude. No shot. She might actually be able to steal this now. Okay, never mind. She's bad. <laughs> like, your EU West players aren't, like, better... Especially in this elo. We're going. Wait, why am I the only one in here? Come on. God, you guys are such wussies. Get it. Where's our Kiana? Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, what is going on, dude? I'm like... It's me versus world over here, boys. Jesus. All right, well, I got enough. I got enough. I got enough. And that's just how it is. I'm sorry. It's just how it is, right? So hopefully some of you guys learn from this little talk. Some of you won't, right? And you should be as objective as possible when you're seeing gameplay. You shouldn't say all these players are so much worse than the region that I play in or whatever, right? Because that's not productive to you. That doesn't help you get better. That doesn't help you climb. It's just an excuse. And usually it's wrong. It's not always wrong. Like, again, in this server I'm playing, and I'm playing in Philippines right now, this region's challenger, if you're an EUS challenger and you're watching me play in Philippine challenger, yeah, you're 100% right. These players are worse than EU challenger. You're, you're right. But gold, they're all the same. They just are. Defend <laughs> yourself. 
The amount of times in Italy jungle attempting a full HP dive on Shen is absolutely zero. It happens. Dude, I do it. Okay? I'm I I do stuff like that. I do it all the time, right? Like it's not zero. Even I do it. Right? It happens. But the thing is is like it happens sometimes. It just does. It's not zero. Like it was dumb. But how many times have you guys seen me do dumb stuff? I've I've done dumb things so many times. Like even even in today's video, I've done dumb things. It happens. And and you can see it's not frequent. She only did it once. Hopefully, <laughs> she could do it again. But right, it, it's not common, right? And the deep wards are common in your real. I mean, but like the thing is, there's a difference between doing a deep ward and doing a deep ward that actually does something, right? Like that was that was a good ward on the bush. And yeah, sometimes like some regions have a slightly different meta than others. Maybe maybe your region does ward better, right? But that doesn't mean like their average skill is better or that you would climb better if you were here, right? I, I think that when you look at a situation, I do think that maybe EU West gold might be a little bit better, but the difference isn't substantial enough that you're like, man, if I played on that server, I would be platinum, right? It's enough that maybe you might bump a division. But gold players are gold players at the end of the day. Unless you're playing in like an uber, like there's no player base, right? Then, then it could be a problem. But yeah, in, in higher elo, there's definitely, it's a lot different in higher elo. There's definitely a difference between the players, but in lower elo, bad is bad. The focus. <laughs> yeah, some dude using a tennis a tennis example sure i don't watch tennis so i don't know what that means but yeah what what he said guys what he said but you know um i i have dove i dive people in top lane and i feed them kills all the time like a darius or something like that right it happens it does but the key is is like as long as it's not you doing it, then it's great. You have to sit down and figure out how you can improve your chances of winning and all that other good stuff, you know? As long as you're not the one doing it, it doesn't matter who does it, as long as it's not you. Alright, we're full pushing this, Shen. Me and you. If he comes back, we dive, but let me hit first. Because I can alpha dodge the tower aggro. Good job, brother. Wow. Somebody to let me dive. I'm so proud of him. He's better than a challenger Korean player. <laughs> I've actually... I have gotten really mad in Korea Suliku from people not diving successfully. Um, by the way, I won this game already, so... It, it, you may notice that when I get rift and I get a tower, I win. Like if they give me rift, I win. That that's just all there is to it. How do I not get bored of playing one champion? Um, I mean, he's a really fun champion to play. To be fair, and I mean, even if you're like in high elo, giving me a rift gives me a way better chance of winning as well. It's not just a low elo thing. It's just like in low elo, the chances of winning is 100%, right? But in higher elo, like it'll knock it up to like a 70% if I can get Rift plus the tower. Well, the thing that I love about League of Legends is that I have absolutely no advantage over any other player in this game other than my knowledge and what I do. That's it. Right? You can do what I'm doing. You can do it better than me. Right? It's not even like... Like, you don't even have to sit here and be like, Well, Kyle Step, you have years and years and years of experience. Of course you play well. Uh, I can't do it better than you. You could, you could literally do this better than me. Right? Like... Don't think like, oh, Kyle Step's like the top of the... Dude, players, you can smurf harder than I can. You can do it. I'm gonna go kill this dude. I don't have E though. You just... You gotta be confident. 
As long as you're confident. Look at this. Look at this Irelia. Like, do you guys think he was going to win that? No, right? I mean, do you think he thought he was going to win that? Maybe. Maybe he didn't, like, hit tab and look to see I had two items. Right? And he just fed me a kill for nothing. Like, you could do this. That's that's one of the things I love about League. You could do it. You could do this. Like, don't think, oh, God, that guy's smurfing. Blah, what a terrible person. You could do it, too. Like, you don't even... You're not smurfing. You're just playing well. Yeah, I'm such a giga chat. I could just walk out here and just kill this dude. That's what I do, boys. But I make it look easy, right? And it all comes down to, like, what makes this game so much easier for me than some of these other players? Why do I find it so easy? It's because I know how to get ahead. That's all it is. If I can get ahead, I win. Because I told you guys, if you put me in this game and I'm behind, I, I can lose. And I probably will lose, right? But if I can be here from the beginning, I will always win. Because I know how to get ahead. So if you want to be able to climb games like these, all you got to do is figure out how to get ahead. And don't be like this kid. Look at him. Do you want to be this dude? You want to be that dude? No. No, you don't, right? Why do that? Like, it's obviously dumb. Is it Like, if you look at it from their perspective, it's dumb. So why do they do it? And that's what keeps people in low elo is because they... They just do, they do that. Because I play in higher elo, because I'm higher elo, I play in gold. Yeah, but there's, there's no difference between me and you. I don't have more items. I don't have better items. I don't start with more than you. You could literally beat me. You could. What's stopping you? Oh, uh, because you're higher elo than me. Let us begin. You can do more than that. It's the same for anything. I could post... I could post a video... And get a million views on it. I could do that. What's stopping me? Right? Because I don't know about it, right? But, like, if you have somebody that's literally sitting there teaching you how to do it... And they tell you what to do... You can do it, too. makes no sense what I'm talking about. See, you're going to stay hard stuck. If, if that is your response to what I'm saying, you're going to stay stuck. That's just how it is. Like, when you when you just... When you dismiss it as like, this dude's higher elo than me, that's why he's winning the games. I didn't bring anything from my high elo games here. In fact, 90% of the time, I'm autopiloting and talking about other things. Right? But you can see that the games are easy. Like, at this point, nothing matters past eight minutes. After this, except that one game. I had that one really crazy hard game that I almost lost. That one was hard. But for the most part, most games, it, it doesn't really matter. As long as you get ahead in eight minutes. That's all you got to do is you just learn those eight minutes. And then you will win your games. That's all you got to do. And we are getting plus... Okay, now I'm getting plus 35. I, this sucks. Here we are. We got some questions. We have one question about, like, is it the micro, the macro that wins the game? In my opinion, it's almost always the macro. Knowing when you should gank, how you should gank, right? Micro gameplay will also win you games as well, though. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of games that I win because I know how to play Yi better than the enemy knows how to defend me. So they do go hand in hand. But I think macro is enough. For example, I'll try to do an unranked to diamond without playing Master Yi, and I think I could do it, right? Because my macro is good enough, right? I, I could play some like Malphite or Cho'Gath or whatever, and I could do absolutely fine. Um, we also have somebody to ask about like when to gank, blah, blah, blah. It's not a question of like when. It's more like what is the state of the game? Like, would you gank right now? No, of course not, right? Because there's nothing to gank. <clears throat> Excuse me real quick. Okay. 
But the idea is like, are they overextending with no ward? And are they willing to go past that point of no return that they typically wouldn't go past, right? Like, you see how Draven and Thresh both burn flash air and both overextend? Right? Like, like, I gank it because I can. Right? I can. So I do. It's not like I don't sit here and I don't clear the jungle and I'm like, all right, I'm going to gank top uh, after I do a full clear here. Right? It's more like if top opens up as a potential gank when I finish my clear, I'll do it. But, like, I don't typically gank level 2 either, but, like, Draven and Thresh are sitting in this bush. I had to do it. Because I know I can, so I will. And when you're in low elo, by the way, this is a full gold game now. Um, you can see all the elos here. It's actually kind of high-ish gold now. In low elo, they will do that much more often, so you have more opportunities to do that. So I, I was incorrect. In the past, I used to recommend to every low elo player, I used to say just spam ganks. That's how you make money, right? Why farm camps when you can spam ganks? The difference is, is a low elo player doesn't understand when something is gankable, right? Like, look at this Ash. Super overextended. 100% gankable if you walk up the river and kill her, right? That's obvious to me. To some people, it's not obvious because you'll try to gank Ash. Like, think of it this way. You try to gank Ash and you go through this bush and she backs off, right? And you're like, oh my God, Ash is just not gankable. That's because you did it wrong. You went through here. And experience will teach you not to do that, right? But if you go up this way, through this river, even if she has it warded, she's dead. She can't get away, right? She can't get away. So it's kind of like this analogy I talked about the other day. You have a shortcut, so you're driving in a car with a friend. Your friend's driving. And there's a shortcut, right, to a certain location. And that shortcut is always faster, right? And your friend asks for advice on the shortcut. And then he takes your advice, and there's a car crash. And you can't do anything, right? It, it takes too long. And then your friend never goes that path ever again. It's same with League of Legends. You try to gank Ash, but there's a ward here. You fail because she backs off, and you never try again. And instead, next time, you go this way. And then she can't escape. It's 100% it's gank. But, you know, you gave up because you think that you can't do it because you tried to gank something like this. How you kill the jungle by going away? It's called attack move. Like, here we go. You see, you have the Quinn trying to gank gas through that bush. We gotta wait for the hook. Like, 100%, this is the play here. They're so hyper aggressive. Right? Like, they push. Insane. Like, it's an insane amount of push. Of course I'm going to kill them. How can they not... Like, how can the enemy not see that? That I'm going to kill them there? Because they're not paying attention. And that's why low elo is just, in my opinion, a gank fest. They don't pay attention to what's going on around them. All they can think... It's, it's that thing. You die to the enemy jungler, and instead of even paying attention to what your jungler is doing, or what he did while you did it, you just spam ping your jungler. Right? And that's why you can do so many little things. Like, you can ping the enemy jungler position, right? To help your laners be more aware of it. Right? You see how I pinged where Quinn was? Right? That's useful. That helps them. I don't do it when I'm in low elo because I don't need to. But if you're a low elo player and you're struggling, that can help you a lot. Ash dies if you go through tri bush when she was next to turret. Yeah, it depends on your pick. Right? If you're master you with Highlander, yeah, she dies. But, like, some picks can't go up there. If I don't have Highlander, I can't do it. And it's and that's why, like, you know, I say that you can do what I do, but you need a little bit of experience to do it. You start to understand what can work and what doesn't work. But as you get higher elo, it gets even harder, right? It just gets even harder. I'm not very good at attack move, actually. I saw this guy playing Master Yi with attack move, and he was cracked. I want to learn. But I, I, dude, I haven't really had an opportunity to sit down and do it. So, like, I use attack move when I'm killing the blue buff or whatever. Like, I'm using it right now, right? 
But when I attack players, I right click them. But apparently you can attack move them, even as Master Yi. I thought it was like a range champ thing. So that's definitely something I want to learn. So I'm just going to walk up through here. Look at Kale. She's just sitting there. Right? She's just sitting there auto attack. And now she's going to die. Right? Like, it's just free. But I don't even need a Highlander. Right? Because she's super overextended for absolutely no reason. And she'll never learn. And she'll never get out. And and I'm, I'm sad to say it, guys. But that's some of you guys. That's what you guys do. I have a visa, bro. All right, so this is a Quinn. Quinn's pretty bad as a jungler. That's another thing is like this Quinn is literally gimping herself by playing Quinn jungle. Like why? Like why would you do that? I, I, I don't even know if Quinn jungle can be a thing. It's terrible. Like he's zero one zero. He can't gank anything. You know what he's saying? He's right now. Quinn is saying, "I can't gank any lanes. My laners suck." But bro has 16 less CS than me because he picked Quinn. He can't gank any of the lanes because he picked Quinn. He could have ganked Ash at any given point in this game if he really wanted to, but he went through the tri bush, right? I do agree that his bot lane was a bit hyper aggressive, but what Quinn can do there is he can try to communicate with his bot lane, maybe warn them that I could be ganking it and to be careful for it. Uh, I got enough for Kraken and... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I did not want that. Okay, good, good, good. I like to get full damage because I want to carry. Well, I agree. Like, sometimes I misclick my right click, right? But why pick Quinn Jungle anyway? I don't know why he's picking it. Because he wants to stay in... What rank is he? He wants to stay in gold four, right? Apparently, he plays it quite often. He's not good at it. Which is okay. Like, if you want to have fun, that's okay. Right? Who knows? Maybe he just really likes to have fun. Maybe it's fun to him. But if you want to improve, don't play Quinn Jungle. It's, it's sad. And, like, look at this Draven. What is he doing? What, you're going to come 1v1 me? I'm Master Yi. Like... Like, why? Do you do you guys see what gold players do? The same in every region. It's the same in every region. I've done I've done a fair amount of smurfing in Korea too. Like that's that's just what they do. They 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 just wanna fight all the time. And they go by themselves. They never group up. They never group up. <laughs> legit smurf. Yeah, I, I know. It's legit, boys. Legit. Okay, I'm gonna back off. I mean, it's kind of a long run. Hey, Quinn finally got a kill on the Ash, but he came down through lane to do it. Okay, any questions? Like, do you guys want to ask something so we can kind of turn this into, like, something useful for people to learn? Instead of just, like... I, I don't want to, like, just sit here and bombard the enemy. I want to explain to you why they're so easy to deal with. You have a hard time to read where the enemy jungler might be. You got any tips? So, the thing is... Is Don D, thank you for the 14 months. So, the thing is that the enemy, you can never 100% guess where they're going to be. You can never know for sure. All you can know is where they may be, right? So, at the beginning of the game, they start blue because you see the enemy leashed, right? So, you can just assume, okay, he's probably going to clear up. And so, but he could go for another gank. If your bot lane overextends, you back him. Even though he's probably not there. Right? He's probably not there, but he could be. So you back ping them. You ask them the ward, and then they ward. Right? Doubt. He might not be there. You, you don't know. All you can do is you track him to the best of the ability, and you ping where he is or where he could be, and that's it. That's all you got to do. Yeah, I actually agree with Diving Kale here. It's like, that's one of the biggest problems I had when I was tracking enemy junglers, is that I was scared to be wrong. I didn't want to be wrong because I didn't want my team to think a certain way about me or whatever. But at the end, it doesn't matter because like your team doesn't doesn't care about that anyway. My highest rank with 100% win rate? I don't I don't remember, dude. I've done some pretty solid 100% win rates, especially if you duo. Sorry. 
Sorry, Ash, but in my opinion, you're a useless champion and all your farm armor belong to me. I'm going to meditate the full. Like, if you play duo, you can literally duo to Masters with 100% win rate. 100%. You can. Like, duo is absolutely bonkers broken. If you guys have any amount of synergy. Terrible flash by him, right? And high elo, he would have flashed before I got anywhere near him, and he would have snared me, and I would have been in trouble. Look at this era. Dude, this era loves me, dude. You already know they're banning the next game, so. As top isn't feeding. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but you know, it is what it is. -na 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 oh, so I think Kale's really terrible too, especially in low relo. He's just so hard to play. Oh yeah, dual Q is 100% broken. I'm I'm really happy dual Q doesn't exist in high elo because it just ruins the integrity of the ladder. Okay, guys, I'm not bullying gold players. Okay, the Zerath is obviously happy, right? He he's obviously happy. Who am I to deny him happiness? Wait, what the hell is going on here? Come back. Okay, I might be able to bait Quinn into coming for me here. I win these. Oh. Okay, that was a little confusing. I saw somebody else standing here, so I got a little confused. I don't know who that was. It was a ghost. Uh, but yeah, guys, ask me anything to uh, make this more of a useful learning experience for you. Favorite mid and top laner? Wave clear mid would engage top. Well, I mean, if, you, if you're if you a high elo player and you want to play with your friend, go play flex scale. Does that make me a bad person? Like... Doubt. I, mean, I don't know what to say. Or go play norms. Like Gunju second, I always go Gunju second. Shut down. Why do I max W second? So like here's my thinking. I'm probably one of the only Yees that does this. But you're gonna need to trust me. Okay. When you level E, it gives you five true damage per hit. That's it. Nothing else. No cooldown. No AD scaling. Nothing. You get five true damage. When you level W, you get like way more HP, way more damage reduction, and you're using it very, very frequently. In fact, the cooldown on it is like half a beat. So you just get so much more value. In any given team fight, I can absolutely pop off with W. 100%. Mm -hmm. That stopwatch is ridiculous. No, Kraken gives physical damage. You guys have other questions? What are things you look for before you gank? The focused mind so I typically try to pass into the most optimal way. And then if I see an aggressive lane, like for example, Thresh and Draven are very aggressive this game. I stop what I'm doing and I go for that lane because I know they're going to overextend. Like this Ash, this Ash should have been getting, if I was on Quinn's team this game, right? If I was Quinn, I would have been ganking Ash all game. Right? Like, that's what I would have done. Like, you could look at this game and be like, okay, Quinn's bot lane fed. What can she do about that? Well, you, you just spam gank Ash. Right? That's what I would have done. I would have just spam ganked the ever-living hell out of Ash. And then, on top of that, I try to predict where Master Yi is. And I try to warn my laners about it so that hopefully they ward. They won't always ward. It happens. And you know what? I'm not going to lie. If I was Quinn, if I was like Quinn, yeah, maybe I could have lost. Maybe I would have lost because my bot lane was really bad and the enemy jungler was smurfing. Right? Like this, that's one of those situations that you can fully lose is if Master Yi is just like AFK farming your bot lane because they refuse to like play like humans with hands. It happens. Like look at this heal guys. Look how much it heals. And by the way, the healing that you get is doubled when you're low HP. So you get even more from Max and Meditate. Look at that cooldown. That's so nice. I actually don't think I went this. I think I, think I uh... Oh my god, brother. Oh my god. Well, I gave Kale 1k. I'm lucky. 
What do I think about the Blader and King Gintu's with 10? Go for it. I think it's a good build. I like Kraken because it lets me snowball early and do what I got to do. All right, we got... I'm just going to buy this because I have a full item for it, so... I overextended. I got greedy. Right? That was a mistake by me. Right? But the thing is, I talk about this in my climbing video. I did a climbing video, right? The people that climb the highest are the people that make the least mistakes. I make less mistakes than these guys. It's not that I'm necessarily doing the right thing. I'm just not doing the bad thing. Yeah, Storm Razor is kind of not so great. Whatever ye build. Probably Feral Flare. Feral Flare was the stuff, you know? Tanky and low elo? No, just get damage. You want damage because you want to carry weight your damage. Tank just like tank is just like bringing coin flip into the equation. You don't want coin flip. You want to like have the guaranteed dub, you know? And that's what damage does. All right, maxed out W, baby. I mean, in my opinion, Draven and Thresh lost this game because they were too aggressive. That's it. They they shouldn't have done what they did. They they put me ahead. So. True, you do get one shot if you are squishy. True. All right, we're going to go ahead and honor Zerath because he loves me, and we are now at plus 35, gold 4 again. I might actually skip gold 3, guys, with the negative win rate. This is this is problematic. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah, so, yeah, I guess right now we're trying to compare poker to League of Legends. If there was a challenger poker player, would they always win in a gold poker lobby? Because in League of Legends, if you're a challenger player, you will always win a gold lobby. Always. Like, the only way you lose is if somebody goes AFK. Like, their internet disconnects. And even then, sometimes you still win. Because AFKs are a symptom of you playing badly. I know it sounds ridiculous, but if you play well enough, the chances of you getting an AFK go down significantly. Now, every once in a while, you know, maybe they'll die at level 1, and then the pike gets angry and he goes AFK, and there's nothing you can do about that. It's very, very rare. But in poker, so in League, I would say if there was a challenger player, and he was playing in a gold lobby, I would always, 100% of the time, always, always, always vote for the challenger player. In poker, would you vote for the poker pro to win every time? Or is there times where they can actually have an upset? Okay, well, I would imagine that poker isn't a game of, like, a single hand. I would imagine that, like, when it comes to poker, it would be an entire game of, like, I don't know how many hands poker has. What, like, 30 hands? Or something, right? Like, of course, you can't win every hand. That's not going to happen. But at the end of the day, are you going to win the poker game? Sometimes you just can't win. So, does that mean that League of Legends is more skill-based than poker? Well, I mean, okay, yeah, but that's the thing. It's like you get bad RNG in poker, but you can bluff, right? So, like, you can kind of counter the bad RNG with bluffing. Is that not enough? Mm. RNG is random number generator. Like, you can just get, like, random... Random cards that aren't very good. Look at it. You see how I just get like to gank this Scion because he's super overextended? And Scion, and you know, my mouth, I have no idea. I got his flash. And I didn't overcommit. Is this a Malzahar jungle? Ah, gold players, dude. Mother has 24 CS, which means he cleared everything. Let us and he's full begin. gone. I was just checking. You never know.
I mean, I am 100% down to dive that dude. Let's dive this dude. Because I have level 2 meditate, which heals me a lot. And Malzahar is going to be boss side because he doesn't realize this is diveable. What is Malphite doing? I'll take it. It's whatever. It's it's whatever, dude. Malfi ruined it when he started getting shot by the tower for no reason. But, you know, it happens. It happens. It happens. It's whatever. I'm not going to complain. Easy peasy, boys. Easy peasy. In me. Lives on. All right, moving on. Let's grab Grumpy Poo. Grumpy Poo. Okay, so we're clearing downwards now, and the idea... Oops. The idea is that we want to try to get near that dragon and maybe try to gank some bot lane. Though, honestly, Scion's definitely looking like probably the must gank, but he is starting to ward up a little bit, so... Yeah, I kind of figured they would have that, but that's okay. Yep. We made our way down here anyway, just in case. I'll get boss side. Oh, baby. I think that you guys should try Blade Ring King and Kraken and see which item you like more. Instead, of taking my word on it. See what you like more, guys. It's like, really, really simple. But try it multiple times, not just one game. You'll find that having Noon Quiver will make your early clear so much better. But, like, if I have, like, 1.3k, I pretty much always get Kraken. Sometimes I'll pivot into a Blade Ranking. What are we up against? Heimerdinger. I don't really have any great ganks. But I have Rift in a minute. I have enough for a recurve. I could go back and get the recurve. Or I could start working towards uh, top side. I could also gank bot. Now that I have Highlander, which I'd be down to do. We could probably dive that. I mean, it depends on if he cleared. I mean, you always get Blade Ranking. It doesn't matter, right? And I'll get Kraken even against high HP targets. Doesn't matter. All right, Mashi with the best dives in the world. Uh oh. Nice. I'll take it. I think Malzahar's on top side. So I'm just gonna meditate here. I think we're good. Um, a little bit short on an item. Oh, we got a blue here. Also, Kraken is way cheaper, so you can always pick that up. Uh, so after that dive, I would say there's a pretty good chance I win now. So I told you guys I'd tell you when I win. I win. But we might need... The thing is, is Malzahar is going to make it so that I'll have to get a quick silver, right? Will Mazar be a problem? Um, like, you get a quick silver and it makes them significantly less of a problem. And when you play in low elo, you can typically get ahead enough that you can afford to buy a quick silver. In high elo, Mazar would always be a problem because you can't afford to budget a quick silver into your games, right? Let us begin. We can fight it. Wait, let me kill this. All right, I got another point and meditate. So now I'm full HP again. Malzahar has no ulti. I'm going to actually kill this on top of this because we want them to fight. Dude, Vagar, what? Like, nah, I don't even know. So he did actually activate Shelly Bug. So Shelly Bug. So now, yeah. oh, it's not working anymore. Dude, like that Vagar just made that such a pain. Yeah, I'm not scared of this guy. He has no ulti, right? He already used it. I'm full HP.
I didn't answer all the. All right. <laughs> that was a that was a grand fiesta and a half. So if I have TP, no TP. I'm gonna clear that, and I'll get tower components. Was it Malzahar? Yeah, I mean Malzahar just randomly wasted his ult on nothing, right? I should have killed that little CS. This is why I'm a jungler, not a laner, boys. Oh, that was. Uh, I'm just gonna toss it, dude. Come on, tower, Jesus. He thought he had me, but I have high level meditate. Alright. This is why I love meditate. You see that level 4 meditate just pulling out the stops there, guys. It's something special. Something special is what that is. So I can start working on the Blade and Ring King or I can get Gunju's. Uh, a lot of you guys don't know why I buy what. It's, it's literally all about power spikes. Right? It's it's all it is. So, in this case, I can buy two components of the Blade Ring game, but I could only buy that one component of the Gunju's Rage Blade. Though, technically, I probably could have bought the Pickaxe plus two daggers, I think. But I like to get the most value out of my money. Because in this case, I get a Recurve Bow instead of two daggers, is the which is nice. And we're going to need that Blade Ring King anyway to deal with uh, Scion. I have ulti up. We lost Dragon, but that's fine. Look how overextended bot is, right? It's like a dream come true. And like when you watch these games, you're like, Cowstep, it, your games keep like lining up so that you always get a gank on X lane or whatever. But it's like, it's very intentional the way that it happens, right? Oh, whoops. It's very intentional the way that you path, the way that you kill things and the ganks that you go for, it reflects that. I left with little HP. Now I'm full again. Look at this. Is this not beautiful? Is this not beautiful, my friends? It's literally the most beautiful thing you'll ever see. Meditate. You gotta be careful when using it as a meditate reset, though, when you have multiple points into it. Because in a fight, it's literally like not having any, any skills. I don't have Highlander, so I'm not looking for a gank. Like, yes, it was kind of overextended. Maybe I can go for that, but I just prefer to get my farm because if I kill these two camps, that's 200 gold, right? Rather than go chase after a Yasuo. I am pretty close to the Blade Ring King. Look at this enemy bot lane. So now I'm going to pat down over to here again. Because God knows what they're doing. Yeah, I don't even know what they're doing, honestly. And now we're going to go ahead. We're going to walk up, meditate, put us back to full HP again, and we're going to dive. Because now they don't have Heimer Dinger, right? There's no Heimer Dinger. And Maltar is probably ultless, judging by that last fight. There's a, there's a ward here, so I'm just going to wait before I go in. Meditate to full. Highlander in on this dude. Bro waits until I alpha strike the flash. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate you, homie. We're going to grab this. I mean, high pressure. And now you know what happens. Now Heimerdinger is going to die. Watch this. I don't know if Malzahar has ulti or not. But why are you so fast? And he stopped the Q me, which is really dumb. All right, why do you do that? All right, I'm gonna meditate level five here. Now Heimerdinger dies because he's by himself because they they just, they, they lose their mind. They don't know what they're doing. Ah. Ah. Never mind. I want to talk about it. <laughs> I want to talk about it, guys. All right. I want to talk about it. All right, I'm going to go for this component. Screw it. Ye players.
I mean, I got a little cocky. I mean, not having Highlander hurt me a lot. I mean, imagine if I had Ultimate Hunter instead of a uh, Treasure Hunter. That'd be pretty pogging. The focused mind can pierce through stone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Back to farming my jungle because there's nothing on the map for me right now that we can see. Rift Herald's up in 36, but we're going to path towards it, right? Backing up. You feel like playing without boots is slow. Yeah, but like instead of this long sword, I should have gotten a pair of boots. I agree. I kind of forgot I didn't have boots because, you know, when you don't have boots this long, sometimes you just... I don't really want a Highlander after this guy. Like, I could totally Highlander after him and kill him. But I kind of want to save my Highlander for a Rift fight. Or to, like, take power. And if he comes back, I'll just kill him. Oh, my God. It's a Heimer Donger. All right, dude. You can have this Donger. I'm going to go take Rift. Did Malzar? Bro, he already has his jungle item done. This Malzahar is actually pooping on me in CS. Well done to him, I guess. But, like, the thing is, is he's given up all the objectives. This Heimer didn't even wants it. He's out for blood. All right, I got to finish this. I'll get it here. Like, I actually, I 100%. I think Malzahar is playing very well. Like, considering he's ELO, what ELO is he? Gold 2? He's playing as well as you can as a Malzahar jungle. Like, again, this is kind of the situation where they gimp themselves, right? For no reason. He's like, yeah, I want to play Malzahar jungle. And now he just made the game 10 times harder on himself. So we'll finish Blade and Ring King, Boots, and we'll get a Quicksilver. If I was in a higher ELO game, I'd probably grab the Quicksilver. A little bit before uh, maybe the Blade and Ring King or before the Kraken. Like, I'd probably go Blade and Ring King, Gunja's Rage Play, Quicksilver. Because, like, if Malzahar ults me, there's nothing I can do until, like, Pike, Pike making it. Holy crap, dude. I got shredded. I mean, they don't have a jungle, so they can't do that. Yeah, I thought I might be able to do more, but Ezreal's actually does a surprising amount of damage despite his lack of items. So, uh, and also, I mean, I mean, actually, it wasn't even Ezreal, was it? It was the Donger and the Malzi, which means that a Wits End is in order eventually. But of course, we got to get the Quicksilver first, so. Anger gives motivation without purpose. Tenacity boots is a must. Okay, I want you to sit here and think about it. Why are tenacity boots a must? They have a Heimerdinger grenade, and they have the Scion Q after stun, basically. Like, why do you want to build Mercs into that? Why not build Tabbies to deal with Yasuo? Or the Ezreal, or even some Scion autos. Why not build Berserker Greaves to get more ahead early? <laughs> Reduce the Malzahar ulti. Alright. Alright, boys, if we say so. Um. Holy crap. Holy crap. That was way closer than it should have been. Dude just walked up and art me, bro. Okay, I'm back to full though. Thanks, Meditate. Too much CC for me to move. Yeah, but Mercs don't lower that CC. This Ezreal with the number one flashes. Like, the Mercs don't work on the knockups, which is Yasuo, some Scion. It doesn't work on Malzahar ulti. Right? The majority of their CC isn't influenced by the thing at all.
He doesn't have ulti, so why is he face tracking me? The disrespect, honestly. Now we're gonna get out of here before we get cocky and throw. I mean, the mercs work a little bit on this iron Q, but I'm gonna dodge that. The only thing you would get mercs for in this game is for the Heimerdinger or stun. And I'd just rather have Berserker Graves. You think Yasu would be dumb enough to look for me? The well, Heimerdinger is probably the only issue here. But we get a quick silver, and then we can even use that on Heimerdinger if we want to. You get magic pin boots? Exactly. Now you get it. Now you're getting it. Okay, so we grab ourselves a Blade in the Rune King. Grab ourselves a Berserker Greaves. Grab ourselves also on top of that a Quicksilver Sash. And now we go for Baron. Uh, this game's beyond one for me, in my opinion. Like, if I'm ever at this point, I should never, ever, 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 ever lose this game. I want you to think about this, guys. If you were in this game and you're playing gold, do you think there was a chance you would lose this? Like, be honest with yourself. If you're a gold player and you were in this state, could you lose this? Because you shouldn't. You should never, ever, ever, ever lose this when you're this fed. If I was in a high elo game, I could still lose this. 100%. And I want you to think to yourself here, if you could lose this, if you say to yourself, if you're like, no, I couldn't lose this, Calzeb. There's no way I'd lose this. Okay, great. But why does your team not make it so that you can lose this? Right? You don't need your team. Right? You don't need your team at any given point in the game. You don't. I mean, it's nice to have them, but you don't need them, right? Unstoppable. QSS. Yeah, you know, that's what I like here. Bro, can you guys stop distracting my minions, please? I'm trying to play. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Come on, man. It didn't have to be like that, guys. It didn't have to be like that. Mm. Well, there goes my Baron, guys. The greed was worth it, though. Smartish E player. What can I say, guys? I'm intelligent, okay? I do intelligent things. If I bought more damage instead of QSS, I would have killed the tower. Right? That's why you don't buy defensive items right there. That's literally a life lesson. This mind can life lesson right there. Dominating. An ally has been slain. Godlike. Your pride. Godlike. Yeah, that's basically the meta is that you one shot everybody. Where I learned to trade. I don't really trade anymore. You just basically learn from like Reddit and stuff. Reddit videos. But I like to just sit out. I don't like the anxiety that comes with trading. Obviously, don't read Wall Street bets. That's <laughs> that's not where you're gonna learn. All right, dragon acquired. Beautiful. All right, let's grab this. Oh, he almost hit that. Let's go over here. Grab this. Now I'm going to 1v5 for my pentakill. Okay. 
dude. Come on. What is this Ezreal's problem, bro? He keeps killing me like that. I'm getting tired of this. Jeez, bro. I just, I just want to pop off, man. I just, I just want to pop off. Uh, at some given point here, guys. Some given point. All right. Next up, I guess we just roll with the hall breaker, huh? A little bit of uh, extra damage on a hall breaker here. Yeah, you can see how like QSS just makes Malzahar cry. I mean, what do you do, man? I mean, as Malzahar, it comes down to team fights and ulting the dude that uh, doesn't have the QSS. Bro, this Vagar could have killed this tower. All right, let's get that Pimp to kill. Let's try again, guys. Nah, I don't need a Wits. I'll just get a hole. I mean, a Wits would have been great. I don't know. I just kind of wanted a hole breaker. Wits would have been pretty good, though. Anger. Gives motivation. Is Rage Blade not worth on Yi at the moment? Bro, I literally have a Rage Blade in my inventory, yeah, homie. Do, 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 do. Hey, Ezreal. Okay, here we go. Now it's Penta time. Dude, I couldn't kill the Malzahar in time. I'm losing my mind, boys. I'm losing my mind. If you want us to end it, stop defending. <laughs> like, come on. Like, come on, boys. All right. We got Hall Breaker. Screw the boots. I don't need them. Dude, I just, I don't attack fast enough. I don't know why. Maybe that's why we really need the wits. All right, this time we have Hall Breaker for the next fight. Bro, it only gives 67. Oh, I don't have the bonuses. No, 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 no. Why not go for Ez first? Because Scion was right beside me anyway. Like, I killed Scion really fast anyway, right? It was really fast. So it's like, it's no problem to go for that. Oh, I forgot to add a win for last game, didn't I, guys? Let me add that. I thought that was going to hit me. Yeah, Ezreal's really doing work. Like, why is the enemy fighting us too, right? See, this is what loses games. Like, they should be together as a team trying to team fight, and instead they're all split up. Like, look at this. What is this? It's like a fiesta. It's just a pure fiesta. And now he goes in, and now he's dead. Like... I don't know what to tell them, boys. I'm getting revenge on this dude. Or not. Alright, level 5 meditate. Oh, I'm level 18, so... Go ahead, let's keep it going. Do you like what you see? <laughs> Do you like it? All right, let's see what our LP gains are looking like. Will we skip the gold too? All right, we're going to go ahead and honor Mal fight here. And will we skip? Yes, we skipped gold three and we're going to gold two. And I almost have a 50% win rate. Let's get it. All right, guys, we're looking at a situation where everybody on my team is duo. I'm the solo player on my team. So let's see if some crappy duos can keep me down or... If I can carry them. That also means that the enemy team probably has two duos as well. They have at least one minimum. Any advice for a gold mid main wanting to learn jungle? Honestly, I think jungle is a really great role to learn because like it just feels like you have so much more control over the game. Um, I think that you just start out as a jungler with clearing the best that you can. Like you'll find that the majority of my games, I'm just clearing, right? It's really, really simple. It's just like this. Like, it's really, like, I don't do anything super intelligent. I clear the jungle, and if somebody's pushed up, I gank them. That's all there is to it. That is quite legitimately. Now, if you get higher elo, it gets a little bit more complicated. 
because like you have to deal with getting counter jungled and making plays on the other side of the map while the other guy's down there, right? But if you're like gold or plat, right, or under that, you can just do what I'm doing right now. You just slowly clear the jungle and play a hyper carry. Play like Graves, Master Yi, something that can carry. Now, if you play Elise, it changes a bit. So when you play a champion like Elise and you actually have to spam ganks and you to rely a bit more on your team. So if you take all the kills, you can kind of get yourself going as well. Just play something very simple, mechanically easy, and then expand afterwards. Which honestly is what I should be doing to learn new champs. So who knows? Maybe we'll uh, get me away from being a Yi main, guys. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Maybe we can get me away from being a Yi main. We got 20 seconds on that crab here. And it works until you get a game with the guy on your team that dies 10 to 20 times. I mean, if that happens, yeah, you lose, but like you're allowed to lose games, guys. Like you don't have to win every game. Like a lot of you guys seem to think that, you know, oh, if I do this, then my team feeds 20 kills. GG, what do I do about it? Well, okay, you lose. <laughs> Congratulations, you lost that game. You're, you're not a god. You can't make every game winnable, but you can do your best. Yo, thank you, Hudson, for the sub, bro. You're welcome, man. So now I clear. So you see how I just cleared the full jungle? The easy part's over. Now I look for a gank. If there's no gank, I go back by and I do it again. But now I have no camps. So now I'm going to gank. I'm going to gank the lane I'm closest to. It's overextended. It can work out really well for me. Look at this. And I got his flash. Look at that. And now I can hit Caitlyn too because for some reason she's coming around here. Easy. That's all you got to do. And now you're ahead. Now you have enough for Noon Quiver. And now you can back. And life's good. Now, let's say that gank didn't work. Whatever. Like, my camps didn't spawn yet. They're spawning right now. I lost nothing. I lost nothing from that. And I have everything to gain. So if you get the kill, you get a uh, Noon Quiver and a Pink Ward. Sick. I'll take it. Why not? And, 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 and that's the thing. You can just do this, like, four times in a row. And you can still win. Let us... Like, without getting any ganks, you could just clear your jungle four times in a row and win. Now, you know, there's certain points where I'm like, man, I really could use a kill. But Rift Herald, now Rift Herald, like, once it hits eight minutes, you want to be trying to get that Rift. Because Rift is essentially a kill. And then it's a second kill when you hit the plates. Right? Rift gives you so much tempo. It's very important. Especially if you're, like, smurfing or you're trying to climb. I'm going to actually go for top here. Because look how pushy she is. She's a Lowey. You know how Alawi is, right? It, it takes a little bit getting used to champions. She's going to push really hard. And as long as I kill her before she hits six, watch her hit six off of that minion. Okay. As long as you get to her before she hits six, you win. Right? Like, just walk up, grab a gank. Now, what you should do is you should be clearing Pantheon's wave because he could get ganked by uh, Diego here as he tries to push and free his lane up. But I, I just, I can't be bothered. Like, it's, it's too much thinking for me. I'm just kind of, I'm enjoying it and just trying to tell you guys uh, my opinion and try to help you guys improve any way I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so calcef.com is broken. I accidentally moved the file into a folder and I don't know how to fix it. Broken. Mistakes are made. All right, I got level three meditate. And yeah, like losing dragon isn't a big deal either. Rift Herald's kind of a big deal, but... I'll give up a dragon any day. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Like, and that's the thing. It's like in low elo, your team will always go and try and fight a drag for no reason. Like, they think that if they lose dragon, it's the end of the world. But it's not. It's a dragon. Who cares? And now I can just... Now I cleared everything. So what do I do? I go for a bot gank. If I fail, whatever. I just go back. Doubt. Is the Diego has no flash, so... Or, sorry, Nelio. But we probably kill Caitlyn here. I'm willing to die for this. It's fine. Because, again, I have no camps, right? Like, who cares? Fast back. All right, and now we could get two more components, right? Like if I had camps up, dying there would be horrible. Like uh, potentially I would lose my top side to Diego. Um, I would be missing out on farm. Look, I missed nothing dying to that. It's worth it, whatever. And that's why you just full clear. Look at my CS compared to him. I have two more CS in him. Amelia got my kill too. Was it worth the flash? Yeah, absolutely. If I didn't flash, I would have got nothing out of it. I had to do it. 
Does Pantheon have ulti? No. I could probably just kill her. Does Alawi have R? Okay, well, not anymore. Well, not anymore. <laughs> well, there you go, bud. Enjoy. Problem solved, boys. Problem solved. Uh, does anybody know where my Krug's going? I'm actually okay with him backing. I've wanted him to back. I say we go for this. We have Pryo. Allow he has no ulti. Let's fight it. I'm down. Allow no ulti. We went nice. I got level 3 meditate so I could just heal up all day. I'm going to go for this more than I want to go for the kill. I mean. And you see how I'm like forcing my team to fight this? We win these. We win these, right? Like, I know we win these. Is he Mia pinging me for taking the Rift Herald as a jungler? I swear to God, these players. <laughs> these players, they have no. That's the number one. That's one of the things I notice in this ELO is that they always want Rift. It's so dumb. No, this is my Rift. I can go around to multiple towers and choose multiple places to put it. You cannot. Nice. Good job, bro. Good job, man. Good job. I want to gank bot. Come on. An enemy has been slain. Now, if we could put Shelly down and get some gold plates, that'd be huge for me. Bro, like, they don't even do any of the work on the rift, and they still expect it. It's, it's insane. They're so delusional. What am I watching? Holy crap, this is me Emilio, bro. But it's okay, my camps are respawning and I needed a back anyway, right? It's literally faster to die to Emilio than to do anything else. Alright. Static plus blade ranking. No, 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 no. Never static, bro, never. I almost had the most CS in the game. I'm going to go for drag this time because I have a big power spike. Doubt is the greatest enemy. Does she not have ulti? Oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> Tragedy, man. Tragedy. Now, that was a mistake. In case you were unaware, that was a mistake. That was, uh, that was me playing badly. But, you know, my camps still haven't fully spawned yet, so it's not the end of the world. I need to pop Shelly somewhere, though. Probably bot lane. Yeah, bot lane would give me two plates if I could do it. Do not let your pride blind you. Oh, I can't cast Herald when I alpha the dragon.
All right, not bad. I gotta summon Rift immediately because it's running out. I'd prefer to wait for it to get a little bit lower, but... Yeah, you better run. God, what a pussy. Bro, would you like to just clear this wave and get out of here? All right, I got to go clear my jungle. Back to work, boys. Wow, this game's actually pretty close, all things considered, huh? Diego going bot. I am pretty high on CS over him. I'm going to get a level gap after this clear, too. I go ghost over flash. Just flash is just needed on you. Well, it's going to be up to me to do this Alawi here. I don't know. Like, what, what am I going to do about this? He's sitting on one HP against a full HP Azir here. Like, right? Like, am I supposed to have some kind of miracle here? Ugh. These players. Eight hundred gold shutdown. Now I'm getting Mia ping for taking this. Please be quiet and get carried. Don't worry. I'll take care of you. I'll take care of you. That'll definitely make him wanna be quiet, huh? All right. So we're at a position where I have a lot of gold, but I can't afford an item. So I have to make a very active decision in what I want to get here, which is unfortunate. Two items would be amazing. But I don't have it. I'm coming. Okay, my gen does not seem to realize there is an Azir following him. What? No shot. All right. What in the world am I witnessing, bro? Why? Ugh, why? Like, why are, what are they? What am I witnessing? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. I beat a lot. I beat a Lally after one more item. It's fine. I mean, I didn't have E because I used it on Shell or on Rift. That's so annoying. This is actually so annoying how this is falling apart. Like, they're all split up. I don't have Highlander, though. Oh, my meditate just came up, man. That's so sad. I have level four meditate and it just came up as I died. I would have lived and I would have got a triple there. Your team has destroyed a turret. 
What am I watching, bro? Please stop fighting her. Just let me. I can do it. Bro, he still had ulti up. God goodness. Bro, like, they keep dying to her when she has ulti up. Like, Bomb before stream. it's getting hard, guys. It's getting hard. I can win this, though. This is an example of those teams trying to make the game way harder than it should be. <laughs> Just an example. Nyla's taking my CS, too. I will show you the path. I'm going to creep away. An enemy has been slain. Your turret has been destroyed. I need Blade and Rain King to even beat Alawi. And dodging her thing would be Gives pretty much required. Alawi's definitely up here. And she has a hull breaker now. Why go top? It's a Lowie. Leave her alone. I have Blade in my hand, I beat her. Doubt is the greatest enemy. Can Sona come? I need Sona. Like, if I don't have Sona, I can't beat this. So, oh my god, I just wasted my W and E. Sona not have ulti? Who did she ulti? Who did you ulti? <laughs> oh my god, bro. Unbelievable. Did you did you ulti a Lowie? Why are you going in? Bro. Out! And ain't our fall is just a Lowy death, right? BR. We do BR. Let bot go. Just go BR. Who cares about bot? Go BR, guys. I wish they would have followed me. Guys, where are they going? Guys, BR? I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard. I'm sorry. I'm trying so hard, guys. This game's a little harder than some of the other ones because Alawi is really fed and I need Blade Ring King. This would have been a game where Blade Ring King would have been better. Honestly, I don't know if I'm better off with my team or without my team when I'm trying to kill Alawi. To be straight up honest with you guys.
Because, like, she gets more tentacles with all my teammates around. Oh my god, I missed my Blade and Rune King Gold. Just wait. Allowy. We give dragon, regroup with my blade and ranking. Holy crap. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind, bro. They're pulling out the full silver. They're giving me the full treatment. Okay, yo, our base, our base, our base, our base. You're driving me nuts, guys. Ah, uh, what do you think counters allowing? Uh, she's basically full AD or full armory. Like, would I need a Lord Nominix for this? Anti heal, maybe? Like, Mortal Reminder? I guess? We need some towers. Is the greatest enemy. Yeah, the champ is clearly the problem here again. <laughs> clearly the problem. My team knows what's up. Anathmas? That's kind of interesting, actually. I just lost the game. That was my bad. I should have went on that. I thought I had her. I don't know. But then I died in Alpha, so it's kind of like whatever. My bad. I mean, this was on me. I could have won this if I played better here. All right, guys. So we're probably looking at like minus one because I'm at the gold two cusp. Um, Yeah. All right, guys. How you doing? So we're back in this one. I was thinking a little bit about last game and why I lost it. Um, I think I could have carried... I think the big pivotal point was when I did the Rift Herald and I didn't immediately kill Alawi because I thought my team had it and then I went and I died to Alawi and so did everybody else. I think that's really where the game took a turn for the worst. So if I could have done it again, maybe I go for Alawi first. I don't know, dude. Like, but you can see like they're monkeys, right? Every, we get monkeys in every game and you, can, you can't win every game. I could have won that. If I played better, I could have won it. But, you know, even at my level, I still messed it up and it happens. I mean, Alawi is not a very common pick for me to play into, so... I'm not super familiar with playing into her. It happens, though. I won't make the mistake again. <laughs> Hopefully. And also, yo, I just call it the double duo curse. When everybody on your team's duo except for you and you have to deal with monkeys, okay? <laughs> but, you know, it's never good to blame your team, so. We, we take what we can. Uh, let's check out the elos this game. Gold one. We got a silver, gold one, and rank. So it's about a gold one lobby. Gold one on average. Uh, we got two duos here from last game. These are the people we're reversing. I mean, all we got to do is just not enter into Alawi and we're good. I mean, Alawi is one of those champions I could like really hard carry if you play against dummies. And let's be honest, I played like a dummy last game. Also, I'm against a jungle Teemo this game. Um. All right, I'm going to grab this and look for a gank in top lane. Well, oh, it's gone. Oh, maybe. Oh. Nice flash, brother. Yeah, 
You want to fight, Timo? I actually just win this. I'm going to try to bait him. Wait, he has Ignite. Okay, I do not win this. <laughs> I do not win. I'm sorry. I didn't recognize he had Ignite because that blocks my level 2 Meditate. Big brain Teemo gameplay there. I just lost to a Teemo jungle. That's the thing, guys. Dude, I'm not used to picks like this when I'm playing good players, okay? Oh, yeah. You may be wondering where my hat is. It's a little hot, so I took it off, so. I'm like, oh, yeah, I win this easy. And then Teemo slaps the ignite on me, and I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> Maybe I don't win this, guys. All right, a fed Renekton coming in hot here. You love to see it. I'm running here with the lag. All right, I'm feeling a little spicy towards this bot side, but she just disappeared, so I'll go for drag. Oh, 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 oh. All right, I'm just going to ward this. Looks like Lulu killed the crab. Which is kind of annoying that she was gone for that long killing the crab, but you know, it is what it is. A summoner has disconnected. Oh, there goes Heimerdinger. You show you the path. No worries, guys. We got this. We just positive thinking, okay? We got a DC, a Fed Renekton. We're down in kills. But we just got to keep it cool. And you know what happens? I know you guys are just begging for me to lose because you want to be like, see, Calcep Elo Hell is real. No, sir. <laughs> I mean, yeah, top's over. Like, uh, the Heimer versus the Renekton, it's uh, not looking too great. Renekton's going to get really fed, and he's going to be a big problem. I really don't like... I, dude, literally any lane except top lane can get fed. Like, any other lane. Like, because Renekton just, like, taps you, dude. It just taps you good. All right, smash that. I mean, we could probably dive that. Oh, he's six. I mean, the donger needs to get him lower if I want to dive that. I'm just gonna go up and take a look here. All right, I just want to go see if this is up. Why is this timing, bro? I'm dead. There is nothing I could do about this because her neck is coming too. Oh. That was terrible, 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 terrible timing. Fifty-two seconds on that rift. One five. But I had no camps anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That's why I clear out my camps first. You're probably gonna get he's probably gonna get team mode, man. That pains me a little bit to watch that he missed all that. Timer Darn is dead now too. Renekton's getting quite fed. Enemy killing spree. That's what I like to see. I might be able to gain bot. They're playing very well with their wards though, making it kind of hard for me to get down there. Okay, they keep pushing. I got this. Because if they were to try, I go right by it. Okay, yeah. Throw your thing before I get there, bud. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. That right there puts me solidly back in the game. However, Rift Terrell is definitely on the table for the enemy, and I'm not happy about that. I really don't want to lose Rift. I'll probably grab this and then uh, clear towards bot and then kill bot again because now Caitlyn's flashless. Actually, I think Lulu didn't flash, right? It was really low cooldown on hers. Because I, I suspect that the Rift Herald's gone. I, I don't think there's anything I can do about that. So, And also, my top side might be gone. Teemo has some control over that. I'm actually getting like kind of hard counter jungled by a Teemo jungle. A gold Teemo jungle. I'm just saying. Like... I don't know how to feel about this. I, I I don't know, man. It's those plays that you're not used to that really get you. They get you nice and good. All right. Um, I want to go for a gank on bot here. 
I don't want to go back for my Kraken yet because the enemy bot lane is going to push because they just back, right? So they have no choice but to continue pushing. I don't really need my Kraken to beat them. I would like to just like come around as they're pushing that tower, you know? Melio is like randomly going somewhere else, dude. I don't know. I'm waiting for uh, Lulu here. Oh my god, the pathing. We're going around. We're going around. Well played, Lulu. Well played, dude. I can't believe he pulled that one off. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I could outplay his ulti. Turns out I didn't eat Kraken, guys. I'm going to go for this. I believe we can do it here. I just need a little bit of mana. How much do I need? 55. Bro, we're getting pooped on. 3-8, all the kills are on me. Holy crap, dude. Does he, like, is this warded? Like... Oh my god, what is go like... This is actually impossible, what the hell? Alright, well... We got it. Oh, come on, brother. They're making it rough, bro. They're making it rough, man. I mean, dude, it's it's my team, right? Like, this is what you guys are talking about, my team. Now, my goal is to get around this. Like, I have the D-Sing, 040, Heimerdinger, Renekton. Their team is a god. My bot lane's kind of meh. T like, I'll take the Lulu over Melio any day. Vladimir didn't say pull for the, the Zed ulti. Didn't even use his own. Uh, Timo's probably here. Please don't have Ignite. Please don't have Ignite. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I needed that one in my life. <laughs> you had Ignite? I was done. Alright, meditating myself back into the game, guys. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Might be worth getting Quicksilver. Also works when splitting into Renekton. Hey, the Donger is back, baby. Let's go. Get it back. Get another point and meditate. Meditate's great against Teemo Blind, though his Ignite makes life a little harder. Like, yeah, he didn't do it on purpose, but Ignite's a pretty hard G counter. Like, Quicksilver can't cleanse Ignite, can it? That'd be nice. Alright. Oh! No! I mean, Lulu's definitely gonna be a pretty big problem here. I mean, this roam around is driving me nuts, man. All right, I got to back and then maybe go for dragon area here. Okay, so we got this. We grab a pickaxe. It'll either be Blade Ring King or Gunju's. We'll see. I like to go for this. Teemo, same level as me. I'm not going to lie. This Teemo's playing pretty well. He's actually, he's doing me dirty. I mean, he was lucky on that top side, but... Okay, I need my team to come with me over here. Turret plating will soon fall. That's warded, without doubt. Ugh. Bro. Come on. Bro, come on, Vladdy, get in there, bro. Jesus. Let's get it. Let's get it. 
We're not done yet. Let's get it. Bro, what 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 is soy man? Did we hit a team mushroom? Uh. Oh my god, bro. This this Lulu is Emilio? Vladimir? Like, look at this. Lulu, my mortal enemy, dude. I get blinded, meditate, and immediately morphed. Okay, well. This is going rough. Oh, Heimerdinger died again. He's rushing his Anyas. Woohoo! Yeah, I agree with the sweeper on this. This is looking like a Gunju's Rageblade angle, though, huh? Oh, these games are hard tonight, boys. What is the ranking? Some goldies, a platinum. What is this Teemo? Gold one. The gold one, one trick pony jungle Teemo. I don't even know how to feel, bro. A true master. I don't know how to feel, bro. He's just, just better. He's just better to me. Man, just better. I, okay, good. Renekton's not coming. That's actually, that's best case scenario here. I mean, I don't need help that bad, brother. Like, okay, Renekton can be quite an issue here. We're gonna see. He's charging his fury. How is he not worth more money? Jesus. Do not let your pride blind you. Come. Bro. Yeah. Bro. <clears throat> okay, well. Dude, I'm getting a quick sober. Like, I, I just I don't even care. I'm I'm just rushing it. I don't I don't even care. I'm tired of his blind. I'm like actually tired of this blind, dude. I wish like Vladimir would have came with me because we saw Timo go on my jungle and I meditated the full HP. But, you know, it, you can't rely on silver so or gold or whatever it is. So, you know, you do what you can. You do what you can. It's, it's just what it is. Though, I got to admit, Teemo's a pretty obnoxious pick. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm not very happy playing against a, a golden jungle Teemo. It's not, it's not, it's not cool. It's not cool. All right, they got the other drag. Everybody died on the enemy team. God bless, dude. I need this in my life. I need it. Guys, this turned for me like hard stomping to just like randomly get plowed by Teemo jungles. I'm sorry, like an Alawi top pentakill. I, I, I don't know what to say. Oh, there's a Zed. Interesting. Oh, that's worth it. I'm gonna kill this. I don't care. Come at me, Zed. I dare you. I dare you. Like I didn't think uh I didn't think this was gonna be so hard today, guys. I really didn't, but here we are. Here we are. Ba -ba 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 we gotta believe in magic. Guys, I wish I didn't waste E because now I don't have it if he's in my Grom. He has a hull breaker. What's wrong with this guy? Okay. Good stuff.
I don't know what else I'm gonna get, but we'll figure it out. Blade and Ring King, of course. All right, so we put the rift top so that we could go dragon without any interference. But Renekton's actually kind of just like sitting there, so it's fine. And like, don't get me wrong, guys. I think a lot of this game is already on me. Like invading that Teemo is really dumb. Like if I coin flipped it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm not in the bush. Not a genius, guys. Not a genius. I just swept this. Why are you pushing it towards the enemy? God, you're a dumb sack of bricks. I can't believe that. I can't believe I just did that. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I am actually trolling. I mean, I'm not trolling as hard as Vladimir is, but... <laughs> Jesus Christ, my brain hurts. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, I played that really bad. Okay, this is good. I promise I'm not falling apart, guys. I'm not falling apart. I am I am hugely successful Master Yi player, okay? Okay, my team is like getting wrecked by dragon and I can appreciate that. I, I'm not washed up. I'm not. Uh oh. Okay. I thought I just messed up my microphone. Yo boys, can we oh dude, I'm going for Baron. I'm going for Baron. Let's go Baron. It's super fast. They're all drag. Oh my god, this pathing. Okay. Oh my god. Why? Why are there shrooms here? <laughs> Enemy team sent everybody for dragon and just gave us Baron. Oh Jesus. They didn't send that dude. I can't handle Lulu, guys. I can't handle it. I can't handle this guy. Bro, only people that hate everybody and everything play Lulu. I'm just saying. I did QSS to blind, guys. Look, it's on cooldown, guys. Lean forward a bit. I'm trying to check my reflection. Here you go, bud. You good? strength well I mean the problem is I can't QSS to Lulu and the Teemo and also Lulu has a knockup which I can't QSS anyway you could dodge polymorph and you can uh, cleanse it too all right I'm getting plenty of farm now I actually feel pretty confident in this game now huh. I was a bit worried, but after Baron, everything's kind of everything's kind of falling together here. Giving us that Baron, mm, so good. Now, you know, Mercs can work on the blind and the Polymorph, but I'd rather just like cleanse it. So, like, does this work on? No, it's only crowd control debuffs, huh? I was kind of hoping it'd work on Nick Knight. All right. Not bad. We got this. I'm feeling really comfortable with this. Never gonna lose, boys. Never gonna lose. Mind can pierce through stone. 
Okay, we know where everybody is. I can get me a dank 600 gold off of this tower, which would be huge. That'd be my Blade and Ring King, essentially. I can't believe they're just giving this to me, though. This is so good for me. Okay, they're all Mia. Nope. Okay, that isn't. Screw you, buddy. I don't want to hear it. I want to hear it. Dude, why are they walking in one at a time? God knows. Level 5 meditate, though. Give it to me. <laughs> These flares, bro. I can't say I'm happy about it, but could have been a lot worse. I guess, uh, dude, 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 dude. We go for this because it gives a bunch of tenacity afterwards. So if we polymorph the blind, we also get, or if we alpha the polymorph, we also get blind lower and stuff. That'd be nice. I mean, dude, Vladimir got more of that tower than I did. Impressive. I mean, you can see how the game like kind of changed when we got that Baron. And that's why the enemy shouldn't have put everything onto that dragon. Because, like, they just left the Baron open. I don't think we're going to have enough time to clear my whole jungle before dragons. So, I'm just going to do wolves. Lifesteal? I don't really like lifesteal, dragon. Like, lifesteal is so weak on you. You figure this thing has 8% lifesteal and you barely even notice it. And on top of that, you're on hits also applying lifesteal. Does anybody know why Melio is by himself? Let's go drag, guys. Oh. Why is a Teemo just sitting there invisible? Like, <sighs> oh, brother. Okay. I need a wits. Maybe, maybe even armor. Zed, Renekton. I mean, Timo's doing magic, though. I prefer Wits, I think. I'll just go Wits. Let's go Baron. We have Timo turret plus me. Timo turrets and me, baby. Let's go. Form before strength. Give it to me. My body's ready. Mm -mm -mm. Edge of Knife for Anti-Blind. Then they just like, somebody's gonna pop it. Okay, they killed Teemo. You know what? Just screw them. Screw them. Enemy team throwing. Did you miss? Does somebody want to go stop that dude? Oh, I'll go bot. I gotta stop bot from pushing. I mean, it was a it was a good stop by them. It was good. All right, yeah, he can get bot. I'll go for my jungle camps. I mean, I don't really care, dude. I got four items. Vladimir has two and a half. That's our gap. That's going on right now. Timo has two and a half as well. He almost has three. Hey, they got Renekton. Nope, none of that electrify for you. Sorry, buddy. 
No electrify for you. Electrify. Your team has destroyed the Bro, they're working me to the bone. You know what this is actually making me kind of realize, guys? If I'm good at this game, like I'm really good and I play it for a living, and I'm struggling in these games, how can a player that's actually this elo be expected to carry this? Maybe, guys. Maybe, maybe I've been looking at this all wrong. Like these are these are really hard games. Right? That if you if you weren't as good as me, it would be really hard for you to win. I wanna know why there's like Teemo shrooms everywhere, bro. I'm losing my mind from this, like, this Lulu, bro. <laughs> She's driving me nuts. All right. Let's secure the last drag. <clears throat> I mean, dude, this Teemo Lulu combo. Oh, I, just, I can't explain it. I, I just, I can't. Like, it's it's not easy. An ally has been slain. Oh my god. Okay, what a play, what a play. Never mind, they just all entered. But we killed Renekton, so not me. Pray. Come on, let's drag. I don't have a QSS anymore, but I will have it for the drag. Woo. I mean, they're probably gonna come down, but I'll have QSS for it. Bruh. I'm not, I'm just not even, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to mess with that boys. Why? Okay. So this is what I'm talking about with these players. Like, why is it Caitlyn sitting in a bush by herself? And then why is Teemo coming? And where is the Lulu? Like, could you imagine if Lulu just never left Caitlyn's side? I wouldn't be able to do anything. And it's those kind of mistakes that you have to abuse to win games. Hmm. Okay, that's cute. All oh, right, put me right beside Caitlyn. Way to go, homie. <clears throat> oh my God! Finally, finally. I can't believe it, dude. This is like, bro. You know what? I'm getting a newfound respect for silver players. Sorry, these aren't even silver, but gold. I'm getting, dude, maybe gold's a little bit harder than I thought it was, guys. Like, I'm like, I'm, dude, these games are harder. These games are harder than, like, any Masters Plus game I've ever played, like, at least. Because your teammates just keep running in. <laughs> I'm curious how I messed up my LP. Plus 30. I was getting plus 35, now I'm getting plus 30. That's what happens when you lose games, guys. Don't lose games. What is this E? Is this E even gonna be up when the thing spawns? Okay, I'm sorry. Hey guys, so we're in this game here and it's gonna be wonderful. We're continuing our climb and we're playing with mostly platinum players now. So we're getting, unfortunately we're getting very close to ending this unranked diamond. It's uh, I was expecting this to take like a few days, but now that I look at it, it's gonna take me two days. I think it'll take me two days to go from silver to diamond. Which is, um, I'm going to be honest, which is really disappointing considering, you know, 
everything, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Sorry, my cat is like standing under my chair right now. Mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, is what it is. I mean, I guess the good thing is, is that you can see that you can climb quickly, which is nice, right? Like, you're not going to be stuck in, uh, oh my god, I don't know what that was. Like, they really increased LP gains to make it a lot easier for you to get where you need to be. You also lose LP gains, so you can lose to where you need to be more quickly, so... You know, I guess that's nice. You know, I did kind of forget that the LP gains were increased when I started this climb. Because, like, plus 30 back in the day was only for, like, if you won every single game and you had a perfect count. But nowadays, you can get plus 30 pretty easily. You can get it up to, like, plus 45 or something. It's kind of ridiculous. All right. What are we up against in Italy? Lots of AP. Maybe want to get a Wits this game. Uh, Kraken obviously works well. Not too many tanks here. Let me pet my cat real quick. All right, my cat has been petted. She deserves it, guys. Okay. Oh. All right, we're just going to sit here and wait. Maybe I'll get another point and meditate, but I, I think I just want to get the alpha for now. Alpha gives you a ton of damage. All right, Nidalee's on bot side. She's also a camp behind me. You know what this means? When she's a camp behind me... Oh, my God, I canceled this all the time. Let me show you what this means. That means that she cleared everything in her jungle plus crab, except for... Or Krugs. She still has Krugs on. Bro. Did you miss it? I wanted to go get those, but I got baited into chase and action, brother. Oh my god, he's gonna ward this, so now I can't go do Krugs. Ayy. I just want those Krugs! Bro, I think we could just dive this. Let's dive this. Me first. I alpha dodge tower aggro. Okay, this guy does not understand what me first means, but... Alright, well, you know, it is what it is, guys. You know, I thought maybe I could have lived. That's okay, I need to go... Quick back. It was a quick back anyway. Hey, Ezreal doing work. And yeah, I told I typed it in chat, but he uh he didn't listen. But you know, honestly. Honestly, like what do I expect? Right? <laughs> like at the end of the day, yeah, I know, I know. An enemy has been I should know better. I should know better. Isn't I could do drag if I wanted to. Save double smite for dragon. I mean with the noon quiver, dragon is a piece of cake. Like, this is, like, my favorite time to do dragon right now, and this is a great dragon for this. All right, Ezreal's kind of running it down mid here. All right, Ezreal looks a little tilted. Now he's, like, helping him mid. You know, that that's fine. We can win this, boys. Don't you worry. You're alone in this channel, and they can't see your message. We can win this, boys. Don't you worry. All right, so we got that Ezreal that's kind of doing the AFK thing. He's running it down mid. So this would be a great opportunity to show you guys how we deal with players like that. Because, again, you can't win every game, but you can try to increase your odds. Feeder, 15. <clears throat> All right. When it's on tower, we kill her. Looks like Ezreal's falling around the Ziri for absolutely no reason. Oh, he's finally going. He finally realizes the error of his ways. Oh, Ezreal took my kill. Unlucky. Unlucky. We definitely don't want a wild card like him taking kills, but... Sometimes you got to let it go. But on the more positive note, him taking the kill can be beneficial because uh, he'll be more likely to play. But at the same time, you see how he's pinging his luck. Like, he could become a very big problem later on if he decides he wants AFK again and if he's taking kills. You know what I mean? So, 
I have no idea what he's doing. Oh, he's inting now. Never yeah, see, that's why we don't want him to have a kill. What is he doing? Like, I do not understand. <laughs> I do not understand what his problem is. Um, I'm still gonna win. Believe. It's okay. I'm smurfing. Still win. Play a safe lot. We'll carry this guy. I will show you the path. We'll carry this guy. Did she clear my entire top side? That's that's rude. I'm smurfing, baby. And by the way, guys, even if you're not smurfing, just tell them you're smurfing, okay? Like, see, they don't even ask. They're not like, what's your other account? They, they don't care. <laughs> they don't care. I'll get six off Krugs, and we get another double. Dude, what is going on with Ziri? Wait, six. All right, boys. Easy does it. Look, you are so dead, but I'm alive, so I don't really care. All that matters is that I'm alive. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi. Right. Giga Chad Lux over here. I had to go back and try to block it for her. Like, I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. Easy does it. Ezreal's just uh, AFK at the tower. I'm still going to win. You know, as long as they don't have an Alawi that just randomly gets 50 kills, I still win. Oh my god, I missed play. Um, I think I could do this. Bro, what is she doing? Ow. What was that? Meditate. Where are you going? What are you gonna do, buddy? Double kill. That's what I thought. Is Ezreal still AFK? Jesus Christ. What is his deal, bro? <laughs> like, why why not just like play it out? Like at this point, like, we're winning hard. I thought that was going to hit me. Like, we're winning super hard. There's no reason for this guy to be like this. It's so, so cringe. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Play safe. I carry. All right. Well, so much for that. Let us. I carry very easily. He's probably going to start taking my camps, but that's okay. Ezreal's rank. He is platinum four. He's trying to get demoted. He's trying to get demoted. I'm not going to let him. Uh, Lux going top's a mistake. She should be down here helping me. Enemy 
Dude, honestly, I guess I'd rather have this Ezreal than this Kai'Sa, because at least uh, Ezreal isn't inting. <laughs> at least he's not inting. All right, what do we got here? Can I take out like a bunch of these plates? Oh yeah, give me that. Yeah, I mean, it could be worse. He could be just like absolutely running it down instead of just being AFK. Right, could always be worse. I mean, we're playing a fundamental 4v5 right now, but at least it's not a 4v6. Don't even ping him. We win this easy. Don't worry. Don't even ping him. We win this early. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to get punished anyway, so it's just like whatever. But I mean, as I mentioned, this could be a lot worse. He could be intentionally feeding or taking jungle camps or something like that, right? So, uh, you know, taking a 4v5 is good enough for me. Honestly, this game's probably going to be easier than the Alawi game. Just because in the Alawi game, I had one more teammate ending into Alawi. Right? Like, it, it's actually having an extra teammate was actually detrimental to me there. Uh, I need flash. This is why I like to have flash here. Mm, yeah, I don't, I don't understand either. I don't know why you would play League of Legends and behave like that. Hey, what's the point? Is it fun? He should get an AFK penalty. Does he not get an AFK penalty for this or? An enemy has been slain. So good. I'm just so pimping. Whoa. Mm. I can't help it, guys. I can't help it. It just it can't be helped with how good I am. I'm sorry. Nice champ lol. Bro, you're literally playing the champ that takes no hands. Shut your mouth. New new um I'm trying to think of a way to bypass the filter here. There we go. Your team has destroyed Rito will never get that one. Yeah, right. <laughs> Do you disagree? There's a reason that champ is disabled in 2v2 and the reason it's been nerfed over and over in pro play. Keep eating while playing. At least I right click. You don't even do that. <laughs> Jesus. Yumi players. Man trying to justify ye. <laughs> Lol. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here. They'll come. Oh, shoot. All right, let's go. They're back. <laughs> This is why in all my TikTok and shorts clips, I always say Mashi takes skill. It gets him every time. Every time. Every time. Yeah, Ezreal's trying to FF and he's trying to AFK. Dude, I can't believe Yumi. Out of all champions talking right now, Yumi's talking. 
Jesus, bro. Like, okay. Uh, you know, Nidalee. Nidalee can talk. Sa you know, maybe Silas. How's it feel to lose a 4v5? My gift to you. Minus 25 LP. Shut down for Yumi. Down. You're welcome, guys. <clears throat> oh, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Dude, I'm actually I'm pretty toxic in general. I just usually don't let it out because, you know, I stream. But, uh, dude, sometimes it feels good to flame people. I can't help it. Meanwhile, Ezreal, he still doesn't get it, does he? <laughs> he still, he has no idea what's going on right now. Bro doesn't even know how to like enter game correctly. Shut down. Like all he has to do is feed the enemy over and over and over again and take our farm. Look, he's sitting beside my Krugs and he's not even taking them. Like, dude, he's, this is the thing. Gold players are so bad. They don't know how to int correctly. Oh, 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 he's making moves, guys. He made a move. He took something. I will show you the path. Oh, Nidalee, you doing that crab? Let me help you. Let me help you. Mm. I have more kills than the entire enemy team. Amped up. Wait, who's our mid laner? Was it Ziri? I'm doing Baron. If anyone wants to stop me. No smite. Too late. Be -do -be -do -do -do. All right, let's get it. Let's get it done, baby. Um, getting pretty close to my upgraded wits. Hey, y'all, thank you for the sub, Barag. Barag. Sorry, bro. Sorry, brother. All right. Well, like, what is the point of this Ezra? I, I, I don't understand, like... Why is he even making moves in the game? Like, what is his purpose? I don't get it. Is this just what Loilo -Lo players do? Mm. Shelly, where did she go? Oh my God. Bro, they need to bring back the pink boys.
I don't think Ezreal is going to get LP. He's been AFK so long that he's going to get a Lever, right? I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. All right. I'm going to go split pushed bot. I got four items. I'm really, really fed. Nobody even has. Oh, Kai's has three. What? How? I have nine more kills in her. I have more CS in her. And she actually has three items done. And I got a Baron. An ally has been slain. My team's okay. Cute. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Enemy killing spree. Shoot! Shut down. My bad. I thought I would kill her and then flash out of the fountain. My bad. All right, what was all the damage I took? True. Basically true, huh? Oh. More damage it is, and maybe a hull breaker. I am going pretty hard with my. Uh... I like Ezreal's finally getting bored enough to hit some camps. Why are you leashing for him? Why even aggravate him? What like what's the point of dealing with him there, dude? Like, just let him go. That's a problem, dude. Like in like when you're in this elo, like you're trying to mess with the the AFK. Just let him do his thing, you know? Cause he's not bothering us. We're winning without him. But if you start messing with him, he's gonna start taking camps and stuff. Killing spree. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. An ally has been slain. Bro, my team is playing like we're winning really hard, but we're not. Like, they keep going solo. I mean, I'm going solo, but I can. They can't. I can. Middle is probably tough, huh? Ellie, no flash for next time. All right, like chill. Chill, Lux, chill. All right, we need some mid minions. Wait, who took that red? I guess I did. Give me in here. All right, boys, there it is. That is the dub, even with an AFK. I don't know what's up with that Ezreal, but victory is a victory. Where is the honor? For Lux, because she had to deal with that Ezreal. I am so sorry, Lux. Plus 30. So two more wins, and we hit gold one.